protests took place in at least 35 different cities across the region, and Allah reported over 1,000 people were detained in connection with them. Only 58 had been formally arrested so far. The leadership of the PKK have warned that if Kobani falls, it will mean an end to the peace process between the Kurds and the Turkish government. The town has virtually fallen now, with most of the population fleeing into Turkey as refugees. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The BBC reports Pakistani activist Malala Yousafzai has urged children to stand up for their rights after becoming the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. She said she was honored to receive the award, saying it made her feel more powerful and courageous. The 17-year-old was jointly awarded the prize with Kalesh Satyarthi, an Indian child rights campaigner. The teenager was shot in the head by Taliban gunmen in October 2012 for campaigning for girls' education. Speaking at a news conference in Birmingham, England, where she now lives, she revealed she found out the news after being called out of her chemistry class at school. She thanked her father for not clipping her wings and said that she was proud to have shown that a girl is not supposed to be a slave. Dedicating the award to all those children who are voiceless, she said, My message to children around the world is, stand up for your rights. She said she was really happy to be sharing the award with a person from India. Announcing the award, the Nobel Committee praised the pair's struggle against the suppression of children and young people. Satyarthi has maintained the tradition of Mahatma Gandhi and headed various forms of peaceful protest. Voting for another Peace Prize, the FPP Peace Prize, takes place until November 4th online at peaceprize.fpp.cc. Nominees include Ross Ulbricht, Bitcoin Not Bombs, Harry Brown, Free Aid, and the Dalai Lama. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. During a 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot fppradio.com. The Associated Press reports a federal judge in North Carolina struck down the state's same-sex marriage ban on Friday, opening the way for the first same-sex weddings in the state to begin immediately. U.S. District Judge Max O. Cogburn Jr. issued a ruling shortly after 5 p.m. declaring the ban approved by state voters in 2012 to be unconstitutional. Cogburn's ruling follows Monday's announcement by the U.S. Supreme Court that it would not hear any appeal of a July ruling by the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond, striking down Virginia's ban. That court has jurisdiction over North Carolina. Cogburn wrote, North Carolina's laws prohibiting same-sex marriage are unconstitutional as a matter of law. The issue before the court is neither a political issue nor a moral issue. It is a legal issue. Though Cogburn's federal judicial district covers only the western third of the state, North Carolina Attorney General Roy Cooper said through a spokeswoman that the federal ruling applies statewide. Cooper had previously decided not to continue defending the ban after concluding that all possible legal defenses had been exhausted. He declined to be directly interviewed. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The number of users who actually enjoy Facebook is down to four. And Apple announces a new iPhone with the N-word on the back, knowing customers will buy it anyway. And now for the delayed and utterly thoughtless romantic gesture that is The Onion Week in Review. Self-identified 9-11 truther Dennis Shaw told reporters Tuesday he's absolutely convinced the United States government has orchestrated an intricate plot to systematically destroy the last 11 years of his life. Shaw, who since 2001 has spent nearly every waking minute poring over footage of the World Trade Center attack and even handing out truther pamphlets every afternoon, says the government is behind the gradual collapse of his personal and professional life, adding that the conspiracy, quote, goes all the way to the top. Before 2001, I'd see my friend Stephen Copley every couple of weeks, and now he won't even answer my calls. The, the f 
government got to him too. Think about it. My coworkers, my wife, my friends, everyone calling me crazy after September 11th and wanting nothing to do with me. What are the chances of that? This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Welcome to the live Saturday edition of the program. You, as always, are invited here to take control of the airwaves. You may bring up anything that you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there. You can actually create the content. Uh, What you see there on the front page of the website was put there by listeners just like you. So go and vote it up or down. Whatever you like or dislike, you can indicate that. Uh, It's all free. It's a Reddit-based system. So go to freetalklive.com to do that. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian here. And Mark. All right. So uh, news out of the Washington Post about Twitter. They are suing the United States federal government because of these national security letters, which you may have heard about, although it's hard to really know anything about these things. What happens with the national security letter? is that uh, when they send one of these things to you, they also send a a threat that says, if you reveal that you have been sent this, we will hurt you. We will be hurt very, very badly. And uh, so, naturally, people are quite afraid to actually reveal that they've been sent one of these letters. And it's difficult to know how many of these have been sent out. Um, I mean, it's impossible to know how many of these have been sent out because no one can talk about them. But we know that many of them have been sent out. So Twitter apparently has been sent some. They have, uh, they're have they the world's largest microblogging platform. They sued the government on Tuesday, alleging the Justice Department's restrictions on what the company can say publicly about the government's national uh, security requests for user data violate the firm's First Amendment rights. With its lawsuit, the San Francisco-based firm is seeking to go further than five other technology companies that earlier this year reached a settlement with the government on the permissible scope of disclosure at a time of heightened concern about the scale of government surveillance. They say that it's our belief we're entitled under the First Amendment to respond to our users' concerns and to the statements of U.S. government officials by providing information about the scope of U.S. government surveillance, including what types of legal process have not been received. This is their uh, Twitter vice president said in a post online. He said, continuing, we should be free to do this in a meaningful way rather than in broad, inexact ranges. Unquote. Sure. In a post-Edward Snowden world in which technology companies are striving to reassure customers about their commitment to privacy, Twitter is pressing for the ability to be more candid in its twice-a-year transparency reports than the government has been willing to permit. Tech firms may now report the numbers of requests they receive from the government in broad bands, such as 0 to 999, for instance. Twitter would like to be able to disclose the exact number of national security-related orders received in any particular category, including zero, if that is the case. So they're not even you know, asking for the ability to really report a lot of detail. They just want to be able to report exact numbers. These are how many requests we've received, not for what information the requests are looking for. One of the problems with uh, state secrets in a free society, that's the, you know, the, the idea that we're a free society. One of the problems is is that if we're going to participate in this uh, this whole democratic thing, then as we're told in school, we're the government, right? Like it's a government of the people, by mm-hmm. the people, for the people. I don't believe any of this stuff anymore. I'm just saying that's the rhetoric. Now, if it is a government of the people, by the people, for the people, how are you going to pick the proper people to fill the roles of lawmakers and executive branch and, ju- and, and judicial, whatever um, level you have uh, control over that, if you don't know what the government's doing? Because what the government has shown with its secrecy over the p- course of the last couple of decades is, is that it ramps up secrecy. That, whoa, we've gotten away with this level of secrecy. I suppose we should do that level of secrecy. And that level, and that level, and keep they keep going up, up, up. Well, not even the politicians would know what they're doing, right? That is one of the problems. The, the lawmakers, in many cases, don't know what the executive branch is doing. And this isn't just Obama's fault. This is every bureaucrat that's ever been hired in those executive branches. Sure, the national security letters go back to George Bush. Yeah, th- this is this is all the same problem. And there's no way that you and I can participate in this functioning representative uh, democracy, rep- you know, republic or whatever whatever you want to call it, democratic republic. 
without information. And when more and more information is kept from you, you get fewer and fewer opportunities. Now, I'll admit the government with its zero sum game that 51% of, uh, you know, 50 plus 1% of uh, percentage passes laws is set up for a two party system. So in a two party system, you really are just picking between crap sandwiches because you'll never get a better choice. Um, so, I mean, I, I think that I, I guess we're destined for failure. At this point, we meaning the U.S. government, the U.S. the, the U.S. government, not us. The, the Constitution that set up the U.S. government, I believe, flawed with its very way that they go about voting for things. This this is all a foreseeable. I don't think you could outcome. fix it. I, I don't think that you could make a perfect Constitution I because they're could. always going to be interpreted by human beings. I think that if you had a larger than fifty percent vote on something passing um, as a law, much larger than fifty percent, then you'd have a much more functional republic, like. It, it seems reasonable that you can get, uh, you know, 100 politicians in a room to agree that murder is bad, okay, right? Okay, I'll give you that. You, you could probably get 100 politicians in a room to agree that, you know, a variety of harm that comes to people, that's bad. Dumping nuclear waste in somebody's front yard, bad, right? Like, they might be able to come up with some things that genuinely are bad rather than this sort of fighting back and forth to see who can uh, use the milit- leverage the military-industrial complex against Wall Street um, all at the, the the cost of the taxpayer. Yeah, but I still think uh, positions of power would attract those who are interested in having power over others. And ultimately, I, as we've seen, they do work together. I to, think there's no doubt about that. I mean, a lot of this national security stuff came about as a bipartisan effort. So, you know, you may very well be able to find 90 percent of a bunch of power seekers who are willing to increase their power over other people. I just don't believe that... Uh, you know, doc- a document, a flawed document, would ever be a perfect document. And even if it were a perfect document, that that you know, a piece of paper is going to somehow constrain men who want power. I don't think right? paper. Um, I I don't think that any system is going to be 100% perfect. What we need, I really believe, in the area of governance is competition. However, if you're going to use a go- document like a constitution, you I mean, like you should learn from the past ones. There have there weren't that many Good republics luck. prior to the United States, right? Like Good there wasn't much to learn from. Creating a newer from. one, though, right? Like you know, every attempt to create a new constitution usually they throw in everything but the kitchen sink as far as positive. Well, you know, they're right to health care, right to education, or right to this and that. Which of the, course that UN document on rights, whatever that is. I mean, that you know lays out all kinds of positive rights. Yeah, which of course when we say positive rights, that means a, a which to my view is not really a right. A right is like the right to be left alone to not be harmed uh but in these positive rights essentially those rights with quotes around them force other people to provide you with a service if you have a right to education that means that someone has to provide that education and what if they don't want to provide that education to you what if they don't like the way you look or something like that uh so our toll-free number here tonight is 855 450 free there's more here from the washington post the twitter complaint states that the company would like to report the data about how many requests they're getting from the u.s government in a way that reflects the limited scope of U.S. government surveillance of Twitter accounts. Unlike email and phone communications, most Twitter posts are public. Unlike large email providers, Twitter does not receive huge numbers of requests. The Justice Department said it was reviewing the complaint, and in a statement, their spokes bureaucrat said that the government worked collaboratively with other technology companies to reach the settlement this year to allow them to, quote, provide broad information on government requests while also protecting national security, unquote. Government officials have also said that as the FBI and National Security Agency are seeking to defend the country from real security threats, the more that the world knows about their sources and methods, the greater the risk of losing capabilities. So they say that they've pointed to efforts to be more transparent, including their release of thousands of pages of redacted and uh, court and government documents pertaining to NSA surveillance programs. So, look, we're doing our best here, but we just can't give you everything. We can't give you access to how many, you know, exactly how many requests we're making. That could reveal too much information and put the country in jeopardy. So, really, the my- enemy has gone from the communists to the Islamo whatevers mm-hmm. to us. Like, we're the threat to the state now. Well, they'll never come right out and say that. I mean, their their excuse is terrorism. They just act like it. Their excuse is terrorism, and they're using that excuse to cover up their activities and hide this national security letter info uh, that, you know, is be- these requests, these demands. Request is sort of the wrong word. These are demands. You either do oh, yeah. what we say. If the people at Twitter release how many national security letters they've gotten before the D- Department of Justice tells them that they can do that, somebody's going to jail. Their life and liberty will be on the line. They'll be do stolen you, away from their families. Do you believe 
that it's okay to restrict information from the public in a so-called free society. 855-450-FREE. Or should we have access to this information? It's Free Talk Live. Talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Beautiful. Bella Wood flooring just got even better with twice the scratch resistance and four times the abrasion resistance of other brands. And right now, Lumber Liquidators has exclusive deals on Bella Wood with savings up to 40%. Choose from over 100 40 varieties, including Brazilian cherry, American walnut, even Bella Woods hot new matte finish that gives you that oil finished look without all the maintenance, all with a transferable 100 year warranty. So go to lumberliquidators.com today to find the store nearest to you. First ever 36 month financing is available, but hurry, these amazing deals end Tuesday. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country, with a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers. How can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program. You can bring up anything that you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Do you think that uh, national security is more important than the First Amendment? 
I mean, the First Amendment is the First Amendment for a reason, right? Like, it was put number one because it's pretty important. That's what I've always figured about it, you know, right to free speech or freedom of religion, uh, freedom of the press. These are all really important, and the right to petition as well. But, uh, you know, these are all really important things. But the government here in this Twitter lawsuit, Twitter suing because they've been sent these national security letters, which basically say, you can't tell anyone you got this or else we're going to hurt you. And, uh, you know, they were essentially it's the government demanding information about their users, demanding about, you know, secret direct messages and posts or whatever. But the Constitution's clear, right? Like the federal government, it's outlined one of the four roles in the U.S. Constitution that's outlined is, is that the federal government gets to define treason. Mm-hmm. And I think that it's pretty fair to say that if I decide to freely speak my... Um, you know my my knowledge on the you know U.S. ICBM uh, layout. As, let's assume I have any, and when I don't, um, to I don't know Red China that I would therefore be committing treason. Well, the difference there, by Mark, anyone's definition, the difference there is you probably would have signed an agreement to keep that information classified. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't have that information. I suppose right? that's true. Right. So uh, in this case, Twitter didn't sign an agreement to keep any information classified. They just received threatening letters. From the National Security and you know, Department of Homeland Security. And they were told in these letters, you better shut up. And they're not the only organization that has had this happen to them. Uh, so that's my question is, how do you feel? Does the First Amendment outweigh the so-called need for national security? Because if you ask me, this claim that well, we need national security so we get to just do whatever the hell we want to and tell you not to say whatever we don't want you to say. To me, that's a dangerous, slippery slope, because as soon as you restrict one kind of speech in the name of keeping you safe, then it's only a matter of time before more restrictions come on. That's how the government works. Our toll-free number here tonight is 855-453. You can join us via Skype as well. Skype username is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request It will be approved. We'll get you on. Hey, if you were looking to hook up with some Bitcoin or maybe some of the altcoins like Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin, or Dogecoin, you can do that through ExpressCoin.com. It's the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies. You can do it with money order, check, wire transfer, even cash deposit at local credit unions that have shared branching. Start off at ExpressCoin.com. You can do it from the United States or in Canada, and you can even uh, hook up with their smartphone app, ExpressCoin.com. And don't forget code FTL. Maybe you are you just want to dabble in uh, in Bitcoin. You just want to get a little bit. If you get up to $40 worth, uh, up to $40 worth and use code FTL, you'll get your cryptocurrency with no transfer fee, which is an amazing deal. Now, if you go over $40 worth, it's still a great price. I think they're only charging 3%. Which is the best price I think you're going to find online. Expresscoin.com. Coupon code there is FTL. Let's go to the phones to your calls and thoughts. You can bring up anything. Dave is in California. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hey, Dave. Hi, Ian and Mark. Hi, um, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling in about uh, the the idea that all this all this stuff that the state does to us, that costs money. And that money comes from, well, they print some of it, right? But they also tax us. Mm-hmm. That's right. Right? Yeah. Okay. So if we could reduce. You're paying for this service. Paper. Aren't you delighted? I'd, I'd <laughs> like to hear what he has to say. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if, if the state is breaking its laws, its own laws, in order to collect its taxes, then we should make it follow the laws so that it collects less taxes, right? How do you do that? Uh, how do you make it follow its own laws? Well, a lot of the people. In my experience, the people who work for the IRS, they want to follow the law. They're just misinformed. I know that sounds ridiculous. But obviously, if you work for the IRS and there's a law that says, oh, yeah, in this certain case, you know, it's esoteric, people don't have to pay it. But you don't want to tell your employees that. You know, let them go and pay it if they think they have to pay it. That seems like a good idea. And, you know, maximize revenue. Right. Well, uh, I don't know that uh, people in the IRS necessarily think that. There have been a multitude of cases where people have uh, attempted to exploit this portion or that portion of the the tax code and try to get uh, the IRS to to point to, you know, which law gives it the ability to tax or whatever. And I'm I'm not, you know, like I'm I'm not claiming to be a lawyer here. I'm just claiming that there are 
a lot of people in prison over this. And what you don't see is you don't see a bunch of IRS agents out protesting in front of the prison trying to get those folks released. You don't see any judges standing up behind their benches and going, this is an outrage! You don't see any prosecutors turning in their resignations. So either... Um, you know, whatever this argument about the law is and paying taxes is spurious, or the government is full of a bunch of people who really don't give a flip about the law. I'm not sure which it is. is. I mean, there was the, you remember those, there were, there were studies the IRS has done and tested its own employees where they've content, you know, they've called like the helpline, the kind of the basic helpline and asked the 10 most, uh, most asked questions. And the IRS guys got it wrong a whole lot. I thought it was was about half the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like 40% of the time they just got the most basic questions wrong. So how do you, you know? I don't think you can force the government to follow its own laws. You could certainly sue them, and uh, you know that results in a little bit of. If you're successful in the suit, it costs you a lot of money, but uh, it will result sometimes in them changing their behavior, but not always, and not across the board. Like for instance, uh, the Glick decision came down in Boston uh, a couple of years ago, which was a, a yet another decision that sort of reiterated your right to record the police. But that didn't stop the police in Palmer, Massachusetts, from arresting me for recording them in town hall. Uh, so, you know, they don't just because a court say something doesn't mean that anyone really pays attention to them or is liable for breaking the court's orders if they're the government. So have you guys heard of the website LostHorizons.com? It's got a page on there called Bulletin Board or something like that. It's, uh, isn't that a uh, tax? It's of a bunch of refunds. Yeah, isn't that a tax freedom uh, website where is, do you have to pay to get the secrets there? One of those no. sites? No? no. Okay. Well, we'll definitely uh, take a look into it. Thanks, Dave, for the call. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. A lot of the people out there claiming to you know, set you free from the IRS are a bunch of scam artists, in my opinion. I don't know if that site is a scam site or not. I've, it sounds familiar. I feel like it's been mentioned on this show before, but there's so many of them out there. And I'm just thinking know. of Erwin Schiff. And He's Lark- in prison still. Yeah, still in, sh- in prison for this uh, the same sort of thing. Uh, Larkin Rose went to prison for it. Yeah. Um, I you know, there, there's been quite a few. Well, I want to be clear. I'm not saying you should pay taxes. I'm not saying that at all. No, I, don't I just think don't think that if you want the government and the people that work for the government to tell you it's okay that you don't pay taxes, um, that you're you're living in a fantasy world. No. If you talk to the average person on the street, they believe that you owe money to the government for your fair share of whatever it is it does. Now, I, I, you might be able to, to talk them into it and say, look, if I have a strongly held belief that I don't want, say, the government to drop bombs on people from remote control airplanes, um, I, like this is really important to me. Should I be able to conscious, conscientiously object? Yes. You might get some portion of the population that if you use the term conscientious objector, that you know that's been ground in their skull enough that they'll say it's okay. But fair share is the first thing they tend to, th- to, to say. So the website he was promoting is selling a book. Uh, it's not a very expensive book, but it's a book which, you know, there's a zillion of those out there claiming to know the path to freedom. My opinion, just don't pay them. That's how I approach it. It's Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. Hi, I'm John Rainey, Chief Financial Officer of United Airlines, and I'm honored to be the National Chair for the 2015 March for Babies campaign for the March of Dimes. United is a proud supporter of the March of Dimes mission to improve the health of babies and fight premature birth. We're helping the March of Dimes fund breakthroughs in research and community programs that help more mothers have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Please join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit marchofdimes.org. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. 
So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you're going to slay? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse whoa, me. Whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is... You ain't going to make... Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, take control, toll-free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. The we tonight includes me, Ian. And Mark, who's not paying any attention whatsoever. I'm sorry. Hi, Mark. How are you? We're doing I'm talk doing radio well. show. Welcome to Free Talk Live, where we'll take your calls. One of us will be paying more close attention than the other. Uh, you know what? I deserve uh, to take some you know, some attack here, too, because uh, sometimes it's hard for me to pay attention to everything that goes on you on can't. the air, too. Uh, there's You're researching things and you know trying to be ready and all that stuff. So that's one of the reasons why there's two of us here. But I don't make excuses. I don't think it's worth it. Pro XPN is a global virtual private network. I don't think I was excusing it. I was just apologizing for it. Okay. Pro XPN is a global virtual private network. They encrypt your internet connection. You don't have that right now probably with your internet connection. Whatever internet service provider you're using probably is snooping on everything that you do. All the search terms you're entering, the websites you're visiting, maybe saving those logs from keeping them for up to five years in some cases. You can stop that from happening by downloading Pro XPN's free software over at proxpn.com slash FTL. Get started for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices. Linux users, setup's a little different but it's actually pretty simple to get rolling with Linux. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Now, you're going to want to upgrade. There's a, there's a free account, but you want to upgrade to the premium because you'll want the unlimited bandwidth, the servers around the world that you can choose from with the premium account, the private torrenting ability, and you can get past regionally blocked websites. Uh, you can all you can do it all for just about 5 bucks a month by using our discount code. It's FTL50, and that gets you 50% off of the price of the annual account. So the price breaks down to around 5 bucks a month. But if you want it even cheaper, you pay with Bitcoin and you'll get 62% off the annual account. Use this code if you're going to do Bitcoin, FTLBTC. You get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee and ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. Plus, the discounts 
are good for the lifetime of your account. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. Promo codes are FTL50 and FTLBTC. Get a great discount on privacy. That is priceless. So there's been a couple of issues so far on the table here tonight. You're welcome to comment on either or uh, either of those. One is that Twitter's suing the federal government, uh, basically saying, yeah, we'd like to be able to reveal more information than we've been allowed to reveal about these national security letters that we've received. Apparently, there was some sort of settlement earlier this year with some tech companies allowing them to reveal large ranges of numbers, meaning that these national security letters are threats, essentially, sent to companies saying, you must reveal this information or... Or else, and if you reveal that we've sent you this demand for information, we will hurt you. Uh, so now their companies are allowed to reveal large ranges. Like they can say, this year we've received zero through 999 of these letters. And Twitter saying, we'd like to be more specific with how many letters we've It sounds we've ludicrous, received. doesn't it? It's ridiculous. And, of course, the federal government, is uh, their response is, well, well, terrorism, terrorism, terrorism. And, you know, fear, fear. People are scared. We've got to, we need to make sure to keep them scared. Uh, we can't reveal too much information because then there might but be more no, terrorism. There's no doubt the government's power comes from fear. There's no doubt about it. Right. So um, the big question that I had here, and I don't think anyone's really answered it yet, is how do you feel about this idea that the First Amendment free speech is being restricted? Because you can't tell anyone you've gotten this national security letter. You cannot reveal that you've received it. You cannot reveal what the contents are, what they're asking for. So Now, some people have. Some people have published the letters that they've received in, you know, in contradiction to the federal government's threats. And... I, you know, I mean, so far we haven't seen really what's happened to those folks, but it's it's got to be frightening. Absolutely, especially if you don't have $50,000 to drop on an attorney, as you probably don't want to take this on pro bono, or not pro bono, uh, it's the one where you do it pro yourself. Se. Pro se. thank you for that. Uh, so, yeah, so the question is, is the First Amendment less important than so-called national security? Is terrorism and the threat thereof enough of a reason to you to go ahead and just push that First Amendment aside. We don't really need that. It's outdated anyway, that whole freedom of speech stuff. I want to know how you feel. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Ralph. He's in Phoenix. You're on Free Talk Live, Ralph. It's Reverend Jim, Ian. Ralph, you're on the air. Your call screener. It's Reverend G Jim, by the way. All right, go ahead. Ian, I, I know in no way that you're right to free speech your right to exercise your religion, your right to assemble, your right to petition your government, let alone your right to free speech on the public radios of which you are on 150 plus syndicated radio stations is in any way being infringed. What we are talking about is cyber technology, Twitter, and, and cyber weaponry of which terrorists love to use nowadays. And yes, I am worried about them using cyber technology uh, in our national interest and security interests of yours and everybody else's. And thank God you're not a politician who has to answer for anybody being uh, murdered by a terrorist. Because again, politicians don't have to radio. answer for that. They're not responsible for what but, happens. Look, not. I didn't say that my speech was being restricted, but other election. people's speech is being restricted when they receive no, when they receive these national security letters. Yes, it no, is. Not. If somebody says why are they receiving security and national security letters, because the government is demanding we wouldn't why know. Information. We, they can't talk about it. But speaking of being a conscientious objector, if one were for real and living next to a plant that makes Patriot missiles, you'd be lying on the ground and making somebody run you over you every time they go to work there. But since you're, against, since you're not doing that, just as there are people that want to bomb the United States in any ways they can use, politicians have a moral responsibility of which you are refuting on the public airwaves. Again, you are not being denied in any way your First Amendment rights. It's a bunch of loaded sure crap I am. that you're speaking Sure I am. Of. Thanks for the call tonight. Right. I'm being denied my First Amendment rights, not by virtue of a national security letter, but by virtue of the FCC. They're preventing us from saying certain things on these airwaves. Not to say I would want to say the F-bomb on the air, simply because it might offend our advertisers or it might offend our radio, radio affiliates or the listeners uh you know that's there's that's a market-based reason to not say something but i am also not able to say those things 
because of the FCC. Yeah, the, and, the FCC has set itself up um, by the federal, by you know, by auspices of the federal government uh, to decide what the public uh, wants to hear, and it's it's a really ludicrous claim, as though there's a whole bunch of uh, you know, seventy five year olds and uh, five year olds listening to you know your rock classic station. You know, people tend to sort of uh, segregate based on what their interests are. And I don't think our audience's interest is hearing a bunch of F-bombs. I wasn't here griping on the air about Your. Uh, our re- freedom being restricted. It's Twitter and other companies uh, around the wor- the country here that have been restricted by these national security letters. They're told that if they talk about the letters, they will be arrested. They'll be charged criminally by the federal government with bas- basically a- a- aiding and abetting terrorism. And so, again, the question is, is national security, so-called, more important than free speech? I say no. Free speech is paramount. Free speech is so critical to transparency and being able to know what the government is doing. Shouldn't we be able to know what they're doing? Or do you think that as long as the government says, oh, terrorism, that all of a sudden it doesn't matter what they're doing? All of a sudden we shouldn't know what they're doing because— Well, you trust the government, right? I mean, they obviously have your best interests in mind. Who really believes that? Well, there's a uh, there's there was an article out this week about um, how Hillary Clinton and uh, Barack Obama had said basically that they don't expect this war on terror to end any time in the next decade. Um, Essentially, that vote that vote that was taken shortly after 9/11, the the use of force. Uh, which is not a declaration of war, but just some kind of use of force thing, it basically has uh, allowed an unending war, one that will never stop. The politicians yep. will continue to collect money from the military-industrial complex in the form of uh, campaign contributions. They'll continue to vote for this stuff, and it's gonna it's gonna perpetuate until Americans are just like we are so sick of this. Bruce is on the line. By the time the Americans are so sick of it, the police state will be full in full effect. What are you gonna do then, Bruce? You're on Free Talk Live, listening in Panama City. Yeah. Um, the reason for my call is, I just want to say, you know, I agree with you, but you know, the the whole power structure that that runs and controls things, not not the uh, you know the the the, the ones that the puppets they put up in front of us, but the real power structure, the power grid, is going to do whatever they want to do. Okay, and their their intention is to limit the freedoms of the people to the point where we're completely dependent upon. What the government says and uh, says what we Bruce, can do. Bruce, hang on a moment here. We'll give you a chance to fill out in moments. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganix.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. 
Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Ladies, with a U.S. divorce rate near 30% in this job market, looks matter. Breast enhancement or reduction. A tummy tuck or a little lipo can work wonders on you and your confidence. With hospital rates at fractions of U.S. prices, and thanks to the recent Thai coup, unheard of low airfare and jaw-dropping deals on luxury hotel rooms. Provide a little info. Get a quote. Hit us up at asianrunlikehellguide.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Saturday edition. We are here and we'll take your calls about whatever's on your mind. Doesn't have to be about the topic we're discussing right now, which is the question I have for you. If you think that national security which, of course, can mean all kinds of things. Uh, if you think national security, this large nebulous umbrella term for all kinds of uh, nonsense, is that more important to you than freedom of speech? Because certainly that's the government's position. They don't believe that freedom of speech is paramount, that it is the most important thing to, uh, to protect. They want to protect their secrets, and they want you to go along with protecting their secrets. If they send you one of these national security letters, it'll tell you that if you reveal the information contained within the letter or even that you've received the letter, that they will be coming after you criminally. And then you'll be one of the so-called domestic terrorists. How does that make you feel? 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. 855-450-3733. Hey, if you want to help support what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, you can shop with us. Go to shop.freetalklive.com. You'll find links to Amazon there. There's Amazon United States, Amazon UK, Amazon Canada. You click into the right Amazon for you, get your shopping taken care of, and Free Talk Live gets a cut of the purchase. So very, very easy to do, and it makes a big difference when you do it. So thanks in advance. Go to shop.freetalklive.com. We're going to bring Bruce back on here. He barely had a chance to get any thoughts out in the last segment, so Bruce wanted to make sure you were able to make your point. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm just going to try to uh, expand on, on what you're talking about. Uh, first off, you know the, the power system, the power struggle, is going to push us around. Their goal is total control of the people. That's their ultimate goal, right? So I, you know, I know that there are terrorists out there that that despise the United States. I know and I understand that, okay? The reason they do is because we're pushing, our power struggle is pushing for total control of the world, okay? With that said, of course we're going to make enemies. And I understand that we have to have some type of establishment of security to help protect us, to help protect our interests around the world. Whoa, 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 slow down a moment here. I don't have interests that the federal government has, right? So, like, for me, there's a big separation between them and me. Yeah, when they – the our interest thing always kind of, like, yeah. rubs me the wrong way. It seems to me like the federal right. government's interest is to, as you mentioned, world domination. Uh, my, in, my interest is total freedom. So, like, I am completely juxtaposed to what their interests are. 
and I understand that. Now, I also want to say that, you know, back in uh, back in my day when I was growing up, they used to, you know, they used to send out the Census Bureau, right, mm-hmm. to uh, gather information on people. Now they, they just do. use social media sites. No, they still send out people the Census go- Bureau. They came out uh, four years ago. But the reality is, social media people volunteer their information. They no longer I get what you're saying. Yeah, they're using technology. They're uh, they're tapping into it, uh, and they certainly have a, a backdoor into Facebook. No doubt about it. Yep, right? they're gathering data, okay. me- metadata, reading Americans' emails. No doubt about it. And storing it all in the Information Awareness Office. I don't know the where thing? they're storing. Is it, that but... the thing in Utah? IAO, correct. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Okay, and and again, it's about total control. They don't need us anymore. So what they want to do is they want to limit the lifespan. What, what, what they want is they want a virus, and they want to blame it on somebody else. And they want it to hit our major cities and reduce our population. Well, okay, so this is, a big big this is a big conspiracy. This is a big conspiracy Now, hold on. So you've suggested that essentially these people are, you know, farmers – uh, that are growing human livestock for their benefit, right? Like they they collect the tax dollars, they get the work out of them. You know that we uh, work so that they can live. But a farmer it's more t- than that, they feel it's their divine right. That's fine. Uh, farmers generally believe that the, that they're completely. They never consider for a moment that hey, you know these pigs might have feelings too. Um, I mean, right. it's pretty common, but. The what a farmer wants is farmers don't generally go out and just shoot their animals in the head and let them die. They want to, in fact, grow their herd to the largest and most efficient amount that they can keep on the land. That way they can, you know, they can uh, have all the benefits of having more money. Why would you say they, they, the government guys, don't need uh, us anymore? They don't need a majority of of us anymore because they shifted their power focus. Their power focus is total control, okay? As long as they can accomplish that through uh, dragging our children into building their military complex and further advancing their interests across the world, then the the people at home, they need less and less of us. The, you know, as the world continues to grow more and more automated, touch screen, uh, you know, voice activated, the less they need people maintaining things. We are basically just breeders. That's all we do here back well, at home. We okay, there's there's so a there's an argument there. that you're making that I partially can agree with that this idea that that people are a resource, but why would they? It just still doesn't make sense why they would want to take away a huge chunk of that resource. I mean, well, because, these are people who are his claim is is that they're getting automated, and so therefore yeah. they don't have any reason to you know to, to keep humans around. But um, the as we get more technologically savvy, there's a very good chance that um, uh, that that humans, the consciousness, may be stored on computers. Why wouldn't they want uh, to keep uh, you know people around? I mean, wouldn't it be easier to have a a conscious autopilot on a uh, a long space uh, travel rather than some kind of robot? Well, just you know, just like the Georgia Guidestones state, you know. What are the Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones are some rocks that somebody put up, right? Right. They volunteer. It's a, uh, it's a, um, you don't, they, a, uh, you, no a, one really knows where they stuff. came from. Right. Nobody knows. They, uh, they don't, uh, they didn't disclose who put them up, but it states that, you know, we shouldn't let our population grow over a certain amount. Thanks for the call, Bruce. Yeah, Appreciate it. Toll free number 855 450 free. There's no doubt that there are people in the world, many of them are the so-called elites, who share this idea that, you know, that the world is overpopulated and that they need to somehow cull that population. I don't really see any significant efforts toward doing that. <laughs> the population of the world is on the increase. Um, I'm sure the paranoid you know, people out there would say, but Ebola, Ebola, they're, that's, that's their new plan. They're going to turn this thing loose. And the federal government, uh, I saw some sort of article, the federal government has a patent on Ebola. I don't know if that's, that claims true. I haven't looked into it in detail, but that's the idea, right? That uh, this is the new thing. But from what I've read, Ebola is not an airborne disease, so that doesn't seem like the most efficient way to eliminate population. There was some scientists came out a couple of years ago. They'd redesigned H, um, H1N1 to make it more virulent, more dangerous. Why didn't they release that? Ebola just goes through, you know, body fluids and that sort of thing. There have been these this conspiracy theory that 
the elites are going to eliminate 80% of the world's They've population. They've got nuclear weapons. Yeah. They don't need your Ebola. This conspiracy theory has been around for a long time. And if the American federal government wanted to eliminate, let's say, the population of uh, certain parts of the Middle East, it would not be a hard thing for them to do. But they don't want to do that because if they drop a big bomb and they, you know, they just turn a country into glass— then that prevents them from making more little bombs in the future and just dropping more little bombs. And that's more profitable in the long run, to drop a bunch of little bombs. Well, the making drop- of the bombs is what's profitable, yeah. and you have to drop them in places that uh, you know seem legitimate so that you can build more. Yeah, so that's what they want to do, is they want to keep the money rolling uh, to their buddies in the military-industrial complex, and actually wiping out a population of people would wipe out the excuse that they need to continue that, uh, that operation. No, I don't want to make it. I want to make it clear. I'm not saying I think anybody should be wiped out at all. I'm just talking about the the rationale that's supposedly behind this idea of we're going to eliminate the world's popul most of the world's population so the elites can live in what better conditions? I mean, they're they're living in great conditions now. What, why would it benefit them to eliminate 80 percent of the world's population? Again, I'm not saying there aren't people who are elites who have said things like this. I think like you know Ted Turner's noteworthy for saying stuff like this. I'm okay. pretty sure Ted Turner hasn't ever killed anybody. Probably not. But I, you know, he might hang out with the Bilderbergers or whatever. 855 450 free. That's There's no the, doubt that rich and powerful the people that rich and powerful people are going to get together and have little talks and that sort of thing. And I imagine they talk about how they control us poi polloi. I'm I know I have no doubt yeah. about that. It just has never made particular sense to me to get rid of the world's population when it's the world's pop human there's two things that create wealth humans specifically him, human ingenuity but mm-hmm. um you know the, human hands are necessary people doing work that creates wealth and land so people and land are the source of wealth why would you want to cut your wealth it doesn't make any sense to me All right, so share your thoughts with us here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Martin's in Texarkana. You're on Free Talk Live. Martin. Hey, yeah. Hey, thanks, guys. Um, What I uh, was—this suit with Twitter, I know that um, another suit had—I know Napolitano, Judge Napolitano had written and had talked about it, about the two ladies who had had gotten one at uh, a library. That's right. The, the judge, he said, the judge was going to declare it. Uh, he's going to declare the law unconstitutional, and uh, if they didn't uh, back down, and they back down on the thing. Um, so therefore, my, he didn't get to declare it unconstitutional, so they can keep picking on others. Martin, if you got another point, hang on, we'll bring it back. Coming up in hour number two, the live Saturday edition. Plenty of time for your calls and thoughts. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner of his ransacked apartment, wondering what kind of nitwit steals a futon. Luckily, the Geico Insurance Agency had helped him with renter's insurance, and he got full replacement. Unfortunately, Little Jack Horner had to have his stomach pumped when he ate a six-month-old Christmas pie. Visit geico.com to see how affordable renter's insurance can be. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. 
Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, October 10th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,229, silver around $17.56, and Bitcoin around $370. Today's precious metal prices are brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support for Liberty Beat comes from SovereignMiners.com. Interested in mining Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies? Well, Sovereign Miners has you covered. All purchases come with a free script ISIC miner. Visit SovereignMiners.com to buy your miner today. In the news, on Wednesday, arguments concluded in a hearing on force feeding at the Guantanamo Bay Military Prison. Lawyers with Human Rights Group Reprieve represented Syrian detainee Abu Wail Diab in a hearing that will determine the legality of the force feeding and whether or not 32 videos of the procedure will be released to the public. Diab's team presented three expert witnesses while the government failed to present any. Judge Gladys Kessler is expected to rule on the matter in the coming weeks. Thousands of demonstrators marched through Mexico's capital this week, calling on the government to investigate missing students and a recently discovered mass grave. 43 students went missing after a clash with police in Iguala in the state of Guerrero on September 26. A mass grave filled with burned human bodies was also found over the weekend. Guerrero's attorney general said it was probable that some of the 28 bodies found belonged to the missing students. On Monday, New York Supreme Court Justice Paul Wooten ruled that the high-rise safety initiative will not appear on the November 4th ballot. The initiative was an effort to investigate all high-rise collapses on or since September 11, 2001, including World Trade Center 7. Justice Wooten sided with a court-appointed referee's recommendations that the petition to be on the ballot be denied. However, the justice called the city's efforts to dismiss the case based on technicalities irrational and misplaced and would lead to disenfranchisement of more than 30,000 registered voters without due process. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, 100% natural teeth whitener, polishes teeth and detoxifies the mouth. Visit MyMagicMud.com to buy your jar of My Magic Mud today. Did you know you can support the Liberty Beat when shopping on Amazon.com? Well, you can. Simply log into your account after clicking our Amazon affiliate link at LibertyBeat.com, Amazon. That's right. You can help the Liberty Beat continue to deliver hard-hitting Liberty news and activist updates by doing your Amazon shopping after following our link at TheLibertyBeat.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 10th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. To celebrate both the Liberty Beat's new partnership with the Genesis Communications Network and alternative media in general, the Liberty Beat proudly invites you to be the media. This all-day event will happen Saturday, October 25th at Brave New Books in Austin, Texas, hosted by the Liberty Beat in partnership with the Austin Agorist Alliance and Brave New Books. The event will be live-streamed so non-Austinites can also take part. The day will feature an intensive do-it-yourself journalism workshop lectures, panel discussions, networking, a soapbox idol rant-off, and a launch party to celebrate the new partnership between the Liberty Beat and GCN. Confirmed speakers include Adam Kokesh of the Freedom Line, Michael Cargill of Come and Talk It, Heather Fazio of Texans for Accountable Government, Harlan Dietrich of The Crypto Show, Matthew Medina of Truth Exposed Radio, Joel Williamson of the Alliance of Austin Agoras, and the Liberty Beat's own Derek Bros, John Bush, and Catherine Bleich. If you're looking for a more intimate and intensive learning experience, you can join John Bush before the bookstore is even open to the public for a do-it-yourself journalism intensive crash course. This portion of the event has limited seating, and tickets will go on sale soon. Sign up to compete in the Soapbox Idol competition or pre-register for the morning workshop at thelibertybeat.com. Support our expansion while you learn how to be the media. See you at Brave New Books, Saturday, October 25th. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Corey Moore and his band of co-hosts keep a sense of humor while attacking the state. 
It's the Corey Moore Show, live each Friday night, 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern, at CoreyMooreShow.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 10th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Shortly after members of the New York Police Department found a super sharp buck brand pocket knife earlier this morning, Lieutenant Joseph Mattioli spoke to Onion reporters at the scene of the discovery to update the public on this potentially deadly blade. At 8.40 a.m., police discovered what seems to be a pretty badass buck knife. Investigators believe it to be basically the deadliest knife ever. Mattioli confirmed that the pretty cool wood-handled knife has a clean edge and added that the blade must be, quote, at least like eight inches long. At this time, we'd like everyone to be aware that there's probably a man out there with an eye patch and scars all over his face that has access to these knives, or maybe even a samurai sword. We urge people to be careful when approaching him because he may flip out and chop both your arms off before you even realize it. Following the announcement, Mattioli asked people to come forward if they had any information about the owner of the knife or if they just wanted to hold it for a couple of seconds. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you'd like. Dial toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. Big question I had asked in the last hour was, is the First Amendment less important than national security? Because that's certainly the way the government would have you believe. They have these national security letters they've been sending out left and right to various different technology companies all around the country saying, well, you better hand this information over that we're demanding, and if you don't hand it over, we're going to come after you. And if you even let anyone know we've asked you or demanded you that you do this, if you've received that you've received this letter, if you tell anyone that you've received this letter, you will be prosecuted. So, so much for freedom of speech. All they have to do is send you a threatening letter, and no more free speech is national security so-called more important than free speech the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE because terrorism might happen if you're able to reveal that you've been contacted by the government if any information gets out that the government considers to be important then well then that would be terrible because people might get hurt we can't have that how can we fight um how how can one push back against government intrusion when the government gives out pieces of paper that say give us your information and you're not allowed to talk about giving us your information you're not even allowed to tell folks how many letters you've received from us wait now hold on this doesn't this seem this whole thing seem counterintuitive like if the idea is that the terrorists hate us for our freedoms, which was sort of the official government policy for, you know, ever since the 9-11 attacks. They, the terrorists hate us for our freedoms. Well, now in order to save you from the terrorists, they hate you for your freedoms. They won't hate you for them anymore. We're just going to have to take those freedoms away. Makes sense, right? Toll-free numbers, 855-450-FREE. We had Martin. We brought him on in the last uh, segment there, but it was right at the end. Martin, go ahead with your thoughts. Yeah, well... Well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you talked about that because I, I was actually going to, you know, talk about this and the fact that these letters constitute warrants. They're administrative warrants that are not signed by a, you know, they're signed by a, a bureaucrat, not a, not a, not a, a judge. I think it's a rubber trade. stamp judge. The the FISA courts. I think they're behind this. Um, I'm not really sure. I think actually it actually comes from the FBI. I think these are administrative warrants. I don't think they even come from the FISA court. Would it really okay. matter? Um, yeah. I mean, Who cares? the, the it, law it enforcement matter. gets whatever warrant it wants. It'll get some judge to give a rubber stamp to something. Yeah, good point. And as I was saying before that this was challenged, I know that Judge Napolitano had mentioned that this was challenged, and, and, and what I think that Twitter should do is actually take all of the ones that they have received in the last, you know, three years while these are are, are valid, and uh, file the lawsuit and then attach attach these uh, letters as um, as uh, <clears throat> exhibits and um, and file them with the law, publicly file them in a federal lawsuit. Have their attorneys file that. That is protected speech. Mm. And as such, they, 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 you know, the, the, uh, the, the people who, who have been affected, it will become a matter of public record. Interesting. And proposal. I think, I think they ought to put that right in their face 
and 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 challenge them directly in the courts with doing that and say, hey, not only we released it, but we're putting it in court, and you know, and, you know, our attorneys have put it in court, and here, you know, we as attorneys here, you know, we have the right to do this and to publicly. Um, you know, as our First Amendment right to petition for redress in the courts here, you know, that we have released this. And, and I would like to see Twitter do that rather than just say that they they're just they just want to tell the number of people that have been affected by I it. I think that's a yeah. great proposal, Martin. Thanks for the call tonight. Toll free number 855-450-FREE. Do you think that the First Amendment, that free speech, that's what the idea of the First Amendment is supposed to protect, your free speech, your freedom of religion, freedom to be the free press, do you think these things should all be pushed aside in order to make room for national security? 855-450-FREE. We've got Dana on the line in Grand Rapids listening to WTKG. Hello, Dana. Hi. Hi, both of you. Hey there. Um, which uh, Somebody, one of you said in this specific case with Twitter that it was uh, Na- um, Department of um, Homeland Security, DHS. Is that the one that's threatening them in this most recent, you know? Yeah, um, I don't know which department of the basically. Department of Homeland Security, but yeah, it's them. Okay, but it's basically DHS. Well, I'm really confused. I'm actually really perplexed. Um, didn't they just come out, DHS, two weeks ago and say that they promised to protect the American citizens from global warming because it's a greater threat than Ebola ISIS to this country, um, lack of employment, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If they're not going to protect me from hot weather, who in the government is going to? Because I count on the government to give me housing through Section 8, to feed me through food stamps, and then uh, to guarantee my student loans, to guarantee my mortgage. Um, And then there's Obamacare which is going to give us great standard care the vets have, so they encourage us <laughs> to die young and leave a good-looking corpse behind. Well, they do want you to die young. young. I mean, that much is true, because they certainly right. don't want, to co- want you to collect Social Security. Uh, thank you for the call, Dana. Yeah. I do appreciate hearing from you. I think her tongue was planted in her cheek. Yeah, I think so, too. And then everybody that. there at the federal government running around uh, exhaling carbon dioxide, too. We continue here with Chris calling from the police state of Connecticut. You're on Free Talk Live, Chris. Hey, guys. I wanted to uh, touch back on depopulation. Yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. First, let me say uh, thank you guys for introducing me to Pro XPN. I'm using it on my Linux machines, and it's awesome. Oh, great. Easy to spin off. Yes. That's proxpn.com slash FTL. Use code FTL50 or FTLBTC for discounts. Go ahead. Beautiful. All right. Hey, I just want to say that the people who are saying that Ebola is the one that's going to take us all off the elites are acting kind of illogical. Right? I think that there's plenty of more useful things to use for that purpose, like re-engineering like a 1918 Spanish flu strain and having a, a vaccine for, for their own safety. A little that's yellow fever problem. would change yeah. everybody's attitude here in the United States, wouldn't it? Well, they've already reconstituted the 1918 Spanish flu from old frozen permafrost bodies so they've right. got that if they need it and they can they could probably do more than that but i do think that depopulation is probably something these elites would use and ian i think your arguments were were wrong um concerning that they they need us around for the money and that if they that's really me. just want to get rid of us that's mark yeah that, that's, well i make that same okay. argument they, they want to extract wealth well, from you they want you to you know go to well, work for them my point is, they print the money, and what do you what do you need the money for? What do we use the money for? But to buy things like guns, well, and gold okay. And food, right? <laughs> so they already have all that stuff. I, I got it. You, when you print money, is all you're doing is dividing the pie. Um, money isn't wealth. We create human beings, and the land are the only things that can create wealth. If you were transported back in time with a million dollars to, you know, uh, 10,000 BC, it wouldn't do you any good because the mo- money doesn't create wealth. You're not going to be able to no, but buy an no airplane with it. And armies would. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, also Ian's argument about using nuclear weapons as a, if they wanted to depopulate us, that's just kind of fallacious and illogical as well. I'm not trying to be insulting Ian, just saying that they would poison the earth for themselves. So that seems kind of Irrational. There are certain spots in the earth they really probably don't care about poisoning. Yeah, come on. If they keep blowing up plutonium, it would, you know, if you look at the nuclear testing. Fair point. That's a fair point. 
the North American atmospheric uh, sure. levels of. Uh, as long as you're willing to go, you're willing to take the uh, Spanish flu epidemic, uh, you know, tack. I'm fine with it. I mean, I'm just the only point is I'm trying to make is is that there's plenty of ways they can do it that are more effective than a bullet. But it doesn't seem like they're doing anything, right? Like, I mean, this there's this conspiracy theory about population or depopulation has been out there for as long as I've been listening to talk radio. I mean, well, I, the next time here, I guarantee you, the next time some big medical scare comes up, it's every year there's always one of them. It's well, it's going to be the elites trying to kill us. H one H one N one bird flu, mad cow. These uh, conspiracy Ebola. theorist radio talk shows have been on the air for decades. They keep on saying the same stuff, and no one ever makes them sort of produce the result. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's useless to try to figure out who is behind 9-11. But I, I wouldn't take it off a table after these elite farmers, as you put them, raising human livestock. This is precisely what they're doing. Uh, thanks, Chris, for your call <laughs> tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can uh, bring up whatever's on your mind here on the live Saturday edition. More Free Talk Live coming up. How do you feel about freedom of speech? Is it less important than national security? It's Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Kay Oliver is part of the Twayambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? 
Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It is the live Saturday edition of the program. You're invited here to dial in about whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com and we give you lots of features on the site they are free those other talk show hosts they charge you for accessing their websites go and enjoy ours at freetalklive.com download archives and more all there free is privacy dead not if we've got anything to do about it on november the 7th and 8th coders privacy specialists and idea people of all stripes will join together for hack the trackers a transparency and privacy hackathon brought to you by ghostery you can enter online and join them in person in New York City to create tools that make the web more transparent, a more transparent place, or help others manage how data is going to be shared. The hacks will be judged by experts and voted on by an online community, and winners will receive a prize package including the all-new Blackphone, a secure-by-design smartphone for people who recognize a need for privacy and want a simple, secure place to start. Participation is free. Registration is is open now. Visit hackthetrackers.com for more information. It's hackthetrackers.com. You know, Mark, maybe you and I are just actually working for the elites and we're forwarding the conspiracy theory. There was actually a guy on hold who wanted to ask if we uh, actually were working for the elites. Unfortunately, he hung up the phone. Maybe that was part of the conspiracy. I don't know. But Mark, are you uh, working for the elites? And This is the kind of wild Jack Assery that goes on in the conspiracy theory mm. uh, realm. I'm willing to sit here and say that, you know, elites, and I would call them politicians and, uh, you know, multinational corporate CEOs and very wealthy, powerful people want to control the planet. I will. I am willing to say that their intention is to use you like tax livestock to benefit off of the your work and treat you like an animal. I'm willing to say all that, but because I say that it doesn't make any sense to me that these same people that benefit from our labor, that tax our land and tax our bodies, that those people would want to kill us, you know, wipe out the population to 50% or 20% or whatever, I'm working for the elite. You take one fact and you come to a conclusion from it, you're not a detective you're a paranoid schizophrenic. <laughs> Toll free numbers 855 450 free. Let's continue here. We've got, and by the way, I want to welcome our newest radio affiliate. It is official now uh, WIBC. We're going in steady. Indianapolis which is wonderful news for Free Talk Live. We're back in Indy. We are back in Indy. We were on for years on a less powerful competitor, which is no longer even a talk radio or a regular talk station. They are long gone, and uh, we've been off for a few years, but now we are back on the biggest, best talk station in Indianapolis. Welcome to our listeners there uh, to 93 uh, WIBC. Go ahead, Mark. You're on Free Talk Live. Uh, yes, concerning that... Uh First Amendment versus national security thing and that order that was given, uh, how did you get the information? If that's supposed to been, have, have been a secret, how did you get the information? Well, the info has been loosened up a little bit over the years. As the article in the Washington Post reveals, there was some sort of a settlement that was made between some tech companies uh, earlier this year with the federal government, which allows them to reveal a generic range of how many of these letters they have received. So a, a tech company that receives 512 of these would be able to say, we've received between zero and 999 letters. Right. So, so we know that Twitter wants to reveal how many letters they've, re uh, they've received, or at least some closer number. We don't know how many, just that Twitter 
uh, wants has to do receive it. them. Right. So uh, Twitter would like. That's why they're suing. They want to give out more information about these national security letters than they're legally allowed to. Your thoughts, Mark? I'm not sure, but to me, it sounds like we're on the slippery slope to that society portrayed in the novel 1984. I, Absolutely. Well, I mean, at this point, they're <laughs> they're not watching you in your house yet. Nope. But I don't know how they would. In, in what London, do you mean how they would? How, how many people have webcams these days? They want to well, activate your webcam no, on that no, laptop, no. Mark? They can certainly do that. That's not my question as to whether or not they could look in your house. I think they could if they wanted to. Um, the F- F- FBI can go in your house when you're not there and never tell you. That's, That's right. part of the Patriot Act. They can if they want to, but in 1984, everybody was watched. And in London, there are more than a million closed-circuit cameras that police have access to. And it doesn't stop crime by any stretch of the imagination. It's not even as effective as a street light and that's my point is is that in order to look at people in their houses you're going to have half the population living off the other half of the population and i don't think that works at this point in the united states there are 58 percent of adults have a job and that means that you know 42 percent don't now, obviously, all of them don't work for the government and aren't taking a check for welfare. Many of them are stay-at-home stay moms and drug dealers and a variety of other things. But where are we going? How, how far are we going to narrow the productive class before it's just the society doesn't work anymore? Mark, Good any, question. Any other thoughts you want to share, Mark? Oh, that's about it. Thanks for the call, man, and welcome aboard there in Indy. It's glad it's great to be back on on uh, ninety three WIBC. This is a monster FM talk station, which of course Free Talk Live was uh, was born. We were born on FM talk, so we definitely are familiar with uh, with that world. But actually, WIBC once upon a time was one of those heritage big you know big wattage flamethrower AM talkers. They added an FM talker on board, and uh, then they they cut off the AM and they went with sports. I think on the AM, and okay. this is a monster talk station so the fm yeah the fm the wibc that we're on right now so i think talk is great for fm um i've i I, i'm concerned with music radio's future Um, i don't really care about it personally well i I understand but i'm just looking looking from afar you and i both used to be in music radio um and i'm just kind of looking i'm saying i don't think it's gonna work i think that talk is the way it goes because currently um no one can produce what i'm producing right now we're producing unique content that's right and it's not happening anywhere else in indy but any of the two rock and roll stations can begin playing crazy train at the same, at the same, time. same time i've heard it before too it, it, i mean it's just have you ever heard that before where you'll I, switch from one station to another and they actually are playing the same song not at the same time i've but had yes. it happen but but yes at the close close to the same the same timing yeah and i mean that's because Music radio, it, right now, every person is their own program director. You can get put together your own MP3s, an MP3 player, um, you know, the whole thing. And it, it, you bring it along with you and with your eye, whatever it is, and stick it right in your car. Yeah, so anybody who's tuning in to uh, WIBC tonight in Indianapolis looking for Larry Kudlow... You're sorely disappointed. Or maybe you're really interested. Maybe this is something a little different, because it certainly is. Free Talk Live is not your typical talk radio program. This is our first night on there in Indy. And uh, you'll you'll notice very quickly that Free Talk Live approaches things differently from a uh, an issues perspective. And we're also open phones every single night. So don't hesitate to join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Sohel is on the line in California. You're on Free Talk Live. Sohel. Uh, hi, hello. How hey, are you today? Good. You're on the uh, air. Go ahead. Okay. I'd like uh, to talk about um, something that's very important, is that most Americans don't care about the ISIS issue, for example. It's uh, a real threat. I mean, it's not uh, joking. I you mean, think ISIS is think. a real threat. I want to talk more about this in a moment. Hang on. So, hell, we'll bring you back. 855 450 free. I can tell you that I've never been threatened by ISIS uh, personally, but I've certainly been threatened by the federal government and the state government as well. More on the way. You can take control. 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. 
I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. How many good people procrastinate? When was the last time you updated your last will and testament, your living will, and your health care power of attorney? If you could get these documents included with your Legal Shield membership for no additional charge, wouldn't it just make sense to have the peace of mind of owning a Legal Shield membership? Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free Talk Live. When a deer approaches a marijuana plant in the woods and uh, nibbles off one of the buds, is that sad? Is that deer living a sad state of existence? I have no idea. I've never heard of an animal um, eating something but that would Christy, make Christy, that's because you, know, you have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know yes, one I thing do. about <laughs> cannabis. You don't know anything about it. I understand that you want to partake of that drug. Oh, I, I do. Trust but me. I, listen, I understand that you should have the right to do that. Oh, well, thank you. Where it's legal. Where it's oh. legal. Oh. Since the beginning of time, human beings and other animals have been altering their state of consciousness. Believe it or not, it's not just a human being thing. Robins eat elderberries in the in the uh, fall and get drunk on them. Yes, so uh, this is a, a common thing amongst the various different creatures <laughs> of this know. earth. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you drinking too much and it's destroying your life? If you're ready to quit drinking, we have a real solution for you that can help you quit drinking within hours. That's right. We can help you quit drinking within hours. It's not magic. It's medical science. At Sober Time, we'll show you how this simple 20-minute outpatient medical procedure will turn off your cravings within hours. Let's face it, if you don't crave a drink, you're not going to drink. And if you don't drink, you won't get drunk. The medication is FDA approved and covered by most major insurance plans. So if you're really ready to stop drinking and get your life back, call Sober Time now for a free consultation. Patients have nearly an 85% success rate. So here's the number. Call right now. 800-659-0267. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here and bring up anything you'd like, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, if we get a chance, we can talk about how the Free State Project is destroying the government, according to one critic here in uh, the beautiful uh, destination for people who love freedom. Turns out that the people who hate freedom don't like it when people who love freedom start coming around in large numbers. Uh, we'll give you more details on that. Also, uh, the topic on the table, the, the large topic here tonight, has been the national security letters, as they are called, Twitter 
has filed a 19-page complaint alleging, according to the Washington Post, that while the government has spoken extensively on the scope of its national security surveillance activities, it has at the same time gagged companies such as Twitter that wish to respond to the government's statements or to voice their own perspective as recipients of data requests. The government's position says the complaint, quote, forces Twitter either to engage in speech that has been pre-approved by government officials or else refrain from speaking altogether. And if that's all you can do is speak pre-approved government script or not talk at all, you become a government mouthpiece. You have no freedom of speech. You are a, a, an, an aspect or an outreach or an, a branch of the state at that point. And that's disgusting in a place that's supposed to be a free country. Yeah, it's obvious that if you can only say what the government wants you to say, that you live in the USSA now. Mm. Now, I'm not going to claim this. I'm not going to claim this is widespread, but it is going on with major media companies. And that in of itself, if there's only, you know, 20 major media companies that are dealing with this problem, you're still talking about the 20 major media companies in the United States. And that is frightening. Absolutely. We're going to continue with your calls and thoughts coming up toll-free, 855-450-FREE. You can tell us how you feel. Is national security, so-called, more important than free speech? What if there's a free market in law enforcement? Go to BitcoinBountyHunter.com. Right now, there are bounties available for you to solve. There's one that's uh, actually worth around 38 Bitcoins, and that's... I don't know, but tens of thousands, about 10,000. At least 10 grand right Yeah, now. more than $10,000. That's a pretty big bounty. You can use your investigative skills and collect the bounty. You can place your own bounties or add to the ones that are there. The authorities are not going to solve these cases. They're done with these cases. Oh, I can't fall solve this one. It'll be done by people like you using their skills to profit. Go check it out at BitcoinBountyHunter.com. It's BitcoinBountyHunter.com. We got Sohel on the line in California. He uh, had just a moment in the last hour to, or the last segment rather, to bring up his topic, which is ISIS. You say it's a real threat. What makes you say that, Sohel? Yes. Uh, you know, it's not about, like, uh, you said, like, ISIS never threatened me as a person, mm-hmm. but Terrorism is a, like a general threat. For example, 9/11 was a big event and a, uh, a, a big crime right, in the sense of numbers and people were terrified. And so we all could be victimized by terrorism at any moment, any time. I'm already and being victimized forget- by terrorism. It's called the U.S. federal government, the state government. Yeah, that's exactly one of the important points that I want to talk about is that, for example, the Democrats, uh, that they have, they have empowered the central government in, uh, in internal uh, sense, like about uh, um, internal security, national security, but they have weakened the foreign policy making. Like America has... Uh, lose its ability to be, become a leader for the world. Like You're saying Georgia, America has weakened its foreign policy? What, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, for example, Obama like weakened the American uh, presence in, in the Middle East, uh, withdrawn uh, uh, um, military which we, we we needed to do some stuff in the Middle East and uh, like a job. You're saying he's not going at it hard enough. You're saying he's not throwing enough troops, enough bombs. He needs to be bombing more. Uh, actually, if he if America didn't uh, withdraw from Iraq, we even we're now in need to bomb them because Iraq. So you're saying if the example, troops hadn't left. Then the bombings wouldn't yeah. need to happen. Thank you for the call, Sahel. Yeah. Appreciate it. Toll free number tonight, 855 450 free. The United States is a country that uh, 200 years ago fought a revolutionary war against a, a tyrannical king. Um, it was, I mean, you know, King George, not a great king by no means. But there were all kinds of revolutions that occurred in the colonies prior to that. It was a it was like 200 years worth of revolutions, and the Revolutionary War was the, the, the climax of that. Um, I think it's reprehensible 
for a country that fought a revolutionary war against a king to support a king, like, say, King Hassan of uh, the House of Saad in Syria? Like, that's a, that's a real problem. Um, it's a real problem for a country that fought a war against a king to support a dictator, like the dictator in Yemen. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that the United States has any business in the Middle East. And all of the trouble with uh, the Boston bombers and the 9-11 bombers and the guy who wanted to blow up the truck in Times Square and, uh, you know, basically every sort of terrorist act that's occurred on U.S. soil since 9-11 it's quoted over and over again. The two things, the U.S., the, re, the two points are the U.S.'s involvement in the Middle East and uh, the U.S.'s support of Israel. Now, I like Israel's country. I've been there. I think it's awesome. However, they should stand on their own two feet. There's no reason the United States government should be giving them anything. They make fine weapons. They don't need us. Two, the United States government doesn't belong in the Middle East or any other country. None. The U.S. military, the Department of Defense, doesn't understand what the term defense means. The U.S. military should be returned to this soil. Right. What, you don't see any Swiss people having their heads cut off in the Middle mm -hmm. East. Yeah, just because uh, the U.S. government pulled some troops out of Iraq doesn't mean they were obligated to start bombing the country. They could have just pulled troops out and gone home, then called it a day and said they were sorry for doing all the military adventurism that they've done over the last several if decades. If Iraq can't defend itself with all the free stuff the United States gave it, what is the point of it? it I mean, The point is more money being spent on bombs and guns for the military-industrial complex, because that's what the Saudi point of Arabia, all of this is. If Saudi Arabia and uh, you know these other Middle Eastern countries don't want to step in, I believe Iran wants to fight... Uh, the, the ISIS. If these countries, if they can't defend their own region, why in the world is U.S. taxpaying treasure going to do it? Why? How many? How many kids from Omaha need to die on out in the Middle East to defend these people who apparently aren't don't uh, don't want to defend themselves? I don't know what the U.S. government's doing, uh, making it so that they don't want to uh, that, that they can't. Fight back or whatever. I have no clue. Will is with us from Muslims for Liberty in Tennessee. Will, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Very cool. Well, first, I wanted to, to correct Mark. Uh, King Hassan is in Jordan. Okay. Uh, well, the House of Saud is, is in Saudi Arabia. That's, uh, I believe, right now, it's Abdul, uh, another Abdul Aziz. I thought that his son was named um, Hassan, but okay. Hassan? Yeah, I thought it was. I could be wrong. Certainly. Yeah, Hussein is in Jordan. All right. Um, I thought it was Hassan, H-A-S-S-A-N. -S yeah. Okay. Hassan. Um, I can always look it up on Wikipedia. With, we shouldn't argue about this. <laughs> the issue with, with Daesh, uh, you know, first of all, that's what I call them because they don't like it, you know, and I've Who? always felt. Uh, well, people like to call them ISIS, but I like to call them Daesh because it pisses them off. Okay. Um you know, I, I, I think it's important, you know, never call these organizations things that uh, validate their claim to the religion. And why call them something that they like? You know, they refer to themselves as this name now. They enjoy this name. It's a badge of honor. So why not call them something that makes them angry? Well, to some extent, uh, we have to communicate to our listeners, right? And uh, True. listeners wouldn't necessarily know what Daesh is. But hang on. You had seem to have another point you were going to make, so stand by, Will. We'll come back to you. Sure. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Looks like Will's right. It's Abdullah bin Abdulaziz. 855-450-3733. You take control of the airwaves on Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. 
Hey guys, if you're into fantasy football, you've got to check out FanDuel.com. At FanDuel, you play in one-week fantasy football leagues for real money with immediate cash payouts. You only play when you want, and you can change your team any week. FanDuel is paying out over $10 million every week this season. And right now, FanDuel is giving you up to $200 free. That's right. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to $200. Just go to FanDuel.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code FOOTBALL70. F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com. Code FOOTBALL70. the number 70. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terragonix. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls toll free. 855 450 free. Is national security more important than freedom of speech? That's the question that I'm asking in response to a Twitter lawsuit against the federal government where Twitter is saying that they'd like to be free to reveal more information than they're legally allowed to reveal about these so-called national security letters. I've also had a discussion about the uh, the Middle East and uh, the U.S. government's violence over there. Uh, One guy called in earlier saying ISIS is a real threat, but uh, to me... That's the government. That's the real threat. They're the ones that are putting us in danger. They're the ones is the reason why ISIS even exists in the first place. The U.S. federal government. Let's put the blame where the blame belongs. Our total number, uh, toll-free number is 855-453. And I should also mention we have Skype, which is how we have Will on the line with us here. We're going to bring him back. But you can Skype in at username lrn.fm as we continue uh, with Will from Muslims for Liberty. You had another point to make. Go ahead. Well, yeah, the the uh, the the previous caller, like you were saying, in his uh, his advocation of interventionism, 
And, and, and that's really, like you said, that's really what's got us to the point where we are right now. A tavern keepers, uh, a usually quite uh, right wing uh, publication actually came out with an article this week where they people are finally starting to point the finger where it belongs and saying, you know, that this idea, this constant intervention, interventionism in the Middle East and the creation of states and disillusion of, of, of governments and recreation of governments is what put us where we are to start with, you know, with the UK and the carving up of the Ottoman Empire. And like you had the U the UK and Russia competing, tr both trying to undermine the Ottoman Empire, which caused the, the Armenian genocide um and you know caused was part of what created the animosities that led into world war 1 and then the dissolution of the ottoman empire and the creation of these nation states um the middle east and, has never been able to find an, its equilibrium mm -hmm. now well that and see if you look at american corporatism and and apply the values that are applied in american corporatism of picking winners and losers that's what our government and the United, the U, the united kingdom's government like them together have been doing in middle eastern foreign policy is picking winners and losers and the problem is is when you pick winners and losers is in the, losers in this way when you find the kind of people that are willing to sell out their own their own neighbors you find you end up with unscrupulous people who are you know, have no problem using violence um, on on civilian populations in order to get their way. Yeah, and nobody should be su uh, surprised. Thanks, Will, for the call. Nobody should be surprised uh, when those people who've been picked as the losers are going to be a little bit upset about that, and they're going to want to strike back at whoever it was that did the picking. We continue here. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. Let's go to another WIBC listener. Dennis is listening in Indianapolis. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Dennis. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, welcome. Uh, what you gentlemen were talking about earlier about their, you know, uh, no validation of conspiracy theories and the depopulation. Uh, have Have you ever heard of the Georgia Guidestones? Yes, yes. Someone called and mentioned them earlier, and they've been mentioned previously. Uh, what are they? Well, they're a, a monument that was erected in 1980, and they were uh, quarried from a very uh, a granite quarry near their location there in Elberton, Georgia, and. Uh, there is basically a uh, set of ten laws or ten ten guidelines that the monuments rep the monument represents, and it's in eight different languages. Now, the first line of uh, that is uh, about maintaining the world population at 500 million people. A lot of people think it's important. Yes, I think it's very important to keep it and, at 500 uh, million people. Yeah, that's that's what the first line uh, has Do to be. Do you agree I, with that? I, that's what I'm asking you. A lot of people what I'm saying is a lot of people believe that uh, you know, keeping uh, the world population at some steady number and people have all kinds of different numbers that that's important. Do you believe yeah, that's, that's important? Well, I I fully believe that uh, we have the capability to, to sustain the world's population as it is currently. I think so too. Uh, and so I really wouldn't see why. That I think technology would be. will actually allow us to go f much further. Yes. And one other thing, there was an update to this monument that sat idle for 34 years that was noticed on September the 21st, where a new block, uh, there was a cutout on the English side at the upper right hand corner, and there was a block placed there. And it was there for uh, four days, and officials from the town came and uh, removed the block saying that they believed that it was a joke or a prank. And the two sides of the block that were visible had the numbers 20 and 14. Now, when the block was removed, all six sides had numbers or letters on each of the sides. What does that mean to you? Well, I really don't know what it means because I don't have I don't know what the Georgia story. Guidestones mean. Right. How do you know the whole thing isn't a prank? I mean... Georgia seems like well, a strange place to put something like that. It would like just that. seem un unreal that uh, this would be erected in 1980 and that uh, it would sit idle for 34 years without anything being done. Dennis, thanks and for the place. call tonight. I appreciate it. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. What do you think about the Georgia Guidestones? I don't think they're proof of anything. No one's been able to say where they came from. It mm -hmm. could be some guy with more money than sense decided to put up his, you know, 12 laws or whatever the number is of things that he thinks are important. I have no clue, and I don't know why I'm why it's supposed to matter to me. 
Toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. If we're talking about, uh, you know, world ruling class geniuses that wish to manipulate the population of sheeple or whatever term you want to use... Why in the world would they put a monument there to tell to give you their plans? I mean, well, Mark, I mean, if you, you think that the world's population is going to go through with, okay, well, that's a good idea. Kill my kid. Right. Uh, so there have been conspiracy theorists who've been purporting these ideas for decades. And every now and then they'll cite some sort of Rockefeller guy, you know, some really wealthy elite character who has uh, designs on controlling the world's population. So I don't doubt those people exist. I mean, they can they can show you like a speech that he's made where he talks yes. about that. Yeah. Um, you know, those people exist. But what are they waiting for? The supposed uh, you know claim is that this population's is, growing every day. Right. I mean, there's 7 billion people and there's going to be more over time. There's no indication that the population is shrinking. Uh, there's no indication that the governments have anything to do with that. So I'm color me unconcerned, I guess. And really, what can you do about it anyway, right? If there's if some evil government's going to release uh, some nasty plague that's going to destroy a, a good portion of the world's population, well... You know, good luck. <laughs> what what can you really do about it besides complain? Let's continue here. Dan is in Elwood. You're on Free Talk Live. Although I'm sure there's lots of companies that'll sell you, you know, gas masks and uh, co- and you know products that'll purportedly protect you from from those things. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, hello. Uh, this is the first time I ever heard your show. I've been driving home from work. And Welcome. I gotta say, it's a really really good show. Thanks. It's the first time we've been on WIBC, so keep listening on Saturday nights from 8 to 10 if you're in Indianapolis, and you'll hear more of us. Or you can always get us online at freetalklive.com seven nights a week. Yeah, I think the most important thing is freedom of speech is more important to me than national security. Thank goodness. Because if, if, if you take away that freedom of speech, you know what makes the makes United States more unique than some of these countries like uh, that don't have freedom of speech, for example. And all these people that uh, fought for the freedom of speech in these all these wars, you know, they would have died for nothing. Or, Do you opinion. think that's what they're dying for in their minds? Like the people that are over, uh, you know, fighting now. Do you think they believe oh, they're no. fighting for free speech? I don't. It, maybe some of them. Maybe they got when. Maybe the government puts it in their heads like we well, are going to fight over in these uh, countries like the Middle East. You're going for America's freedom, but really, I think the point of these wars is to uh, for these companies to make money. For example, I think the Iraqi war was because uh, Cheney trying to make money for uh, Halliburton, for example. It's difficult to know, um, you know, like the specifics of who did what to whom, but I can assure you that they're the the companies that make big metal things that go boom, they're raking mm-hmm. it in over the last decade. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, Dan, thanks for your call tonight, man. I do appreciate hearing from yeah, you. Nice welcome. To you. Yeah, welcome to the again. show. We're there, as I said, uh, what WIBC, big, big talk station in Indy. Uh, it's great to be on board. Jeff is listening in Pennsylvania. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Jeff. Hello, man. Hey, you're hey, on. Uh, love your show. Thanks. Go hey, ahead. I wanted to say that I did some soul searching a while back because I was just feeling like you know uh, things were things were depressing, and I was just. Like, why does the world have to be so difficult? Life is so difficult, you know? And I came to the realization that the reason that life is difficult and yet awesome and everything is because we're free. It's like it's easy to forget that you're you're totally free. And so all of the things in the world, the good, the bad, the people shooting people, the people, you know, creating the Internet, everything is because people are free. And that's the... That's the most awesome thing I could think Well, that think sounds of. like a really not- rose-colored glass version of the world. I like being positive. Don't get me wrong. But freedom, Jeff- freedom definitely has uh, cost to it. I think he's absolutely right. You think he's right that we're free? Absolutely not. I'm well, not free to walk down the street smoking a joint. 855, 450 free. Freedom's a continuum. I can't walk down the street with an open container. That's not freedom. More on the way. You take control here. We'll bring Jeff back and your calls as well. Coming up. 
talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, October 11th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.41 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,224 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $359. Antiwar.com reports Kurdish protesters pushing for a military intervention against the Islamic State in the Syrian border town of Kobani have continued across Turkey's southeast, with the Interior Ministry issuing a statement reporting at least 31 killed and 360 wounded. Interior Minister Efkan Allah, who previously accused the Kurds of betraying Turkey for protesting, urged the demonstrators to end the violence and stand in solidarity with the ruling party. Protests took place in at least 35 different cities across the region, and Allah reported over 1,000 people were detained in connection with them. Only 58 had been formally arrested so far. The leadership of the PKK have warned that if Kobani falls, it will mean an end to the peace process between the Kurds and the Turkish government. The town has virtually fallen now, with most of the population fleeing into Turkey as refugees. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The BBC reports Pakistani activist Malala Yousafzai has urged children to stand up for their rights after becoming the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. She said she was honored to receive the award, saying it made her feel more powerful and courageous. The 17-year-old was jointly awarded the prize with Kalesh Satyarthi, an Indian child rights campaigner. The teenager was shot in the head by Taliban gunmen in October 2012 for campaigning for girls' education. Speaking at a news conference in Birmingham, England, where she now lives, she revealed she found out the news after being called out of her chemistry class at school. She thanked her father for not clipping her wings and said that she was proud to have shown that a girl is not supposed to be a slave. Dedicating the award to all those children who are voiceless, she said, My message to children around the world is, stand up for your rights. 
She said she was really happy to be sharing the award with a person from India. Announcing the award, the Nobel Committee praised the pair's struggle against the suppression of children and young people. Satyarthi has maintained the tradition of Mahatma Gandhi and headed various forms of peaceful protest. Voting for another Peace Prize, the FPP Peace Prize, takes place until November 4th online at peaceprize.fpp.cc. Nominees include Rolls Ulbricht, Bitcoin Not Bombs, Harry Brown, Free Aid, and the Dalai Lama. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. During the 104-day trip, I'll be visiting at least 10 cities across the country, speaking to people about the ideas of peace, love, and liberty. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot fppradio.com. The Associated Press reports a federal judge in North Carolina struck down the state's same-sex marriage ban on Friday, opening the way for the first same-sex weddings in the state to begin immediately. U.S. District Judge Max O. Cogburn Jr. issued a ruling shortly after 5 p.m. declaring the ban approved by state voters in 2012 to be unconstitutional. Cogburn's ruling follows Monday's announcement by the U.S. Supreme Court that it would not hear any appeal of a July ruling by the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond, striking down Virginia's ban. That court has jurisdiction over North Carolina. Cogburn wrote, North Carolina's laws prohibiting same-sex marriage are unconstitutional as a matter of law. The issue before the court is neither a political issue nor a moral issue. It is a legal issue. Though Cogburn's federal judicial district covers only the western third of the state, North Carolina Attorney General Roy Cooper said through a spokeswoman that the federal ruling applies statewide. Cooper had previously decided not to continue defending the ban after concluding that all possible legal defenses had been exhausted. He declined to be directly interviewed. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. If you're the parent of a man-child, you know how frustrating it can sometimes be. The piercing sound of his video games waking you up at 2 in the morning. His insatiable hunger and inability to cook anything for himself. The messes he makes. The stress can be overwhelming. Something will set them off, uh, such as their man-child will tell them that they don't know how to tie a tie even though they're almost 30. They'll start shaking them and shaking them and yelling and saying, what the hell is wrong with you? Why don't you get a real job instead of working part-time at a board game store? The results of shaken man-child syndrome are devastating. Trauma caused by the brain colliding with the inside of the man-child's skull can lead to cognitive disabilities, making it even more unlikely he'll finally marry the girl he's been having a long-distance online relationship with for six years. Or it can even lead to death. He's not spilling cereal all over the couch or leaving his beard clippings in the bathroom sink intentionally. He truly does not know what he's doing. For The Lab Report, I'm Stuart Adams. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free here, and it is the live Saturday edition of the program. Bring up anything that happens to be on your mind, Twitter suing the federal government, because, well, there's this thing called the National Security Letter, which basically threatens you if you reveal the information contained within it. Uh, and, you know, the excuse is terrorism, and my question is, well, is the excuse of terrorism enough justification to destroy the First Amendment, to destroy the idea of free speech? As far as I'm concerned, if the government sends you a letter, you should be able to scan that letter in and put, put it out there. Show it to anybody. Publish it. Read it to your friends. Share it with your family. Put it online on a you know PDF. Federal government will prevent you from doing that by threatening violence, uh, threatening, threatening you with a cage in the name of supposed national security. 855-450-FREE. But if the point of the federal government is to protect your freedoms, then how is, there, how is it that they're protecting your freedoms by destroying your freedom of speech? Seems pretty counterintuitive. But you're welcome to share your thoughts on that or anything else. We've had people calling in about the idea, which I think is a ridiculous idea of overpopulation, or rather the conspiracy theory that, uh, that the, the world's population will be culled to 500 million people. You can also bring up whatever you want. And in fact, that's why we go back now to Jeff listening in Pennsylvania. 
Uh, Jeff, you're back on Free Talk Live. Can you just sort of recap what you were saying before uh, we had to yeah. go away there? Yes, I did. I can. Um, what I was when I did a little soul search a while back, I realized that the reason that there's good in the world and bad in the world is because people are totally free. And it and you said uh, that you didn't feel free, you know, to be able to just walk down the street smoking a joint. Now, a lot of people say, well, I'm not free to not work because I have kids and so I have to I have to work and pay my bills and stuff. But that's that's their own sort of prison that they put themselves in. Well, yeah, in. you created those you obligations want... for yourself. I'm with you on that point. Nobody, nobody's really obligated to do anything. And that's what's, that's why I think people live in fear is because everybody realizes that, you know, anybody who's smart or whatever could come up with plans to, you know, shoot people or infect people or, or just do terrible things. Because even though there's all these laws in place, they're really not that effective. You could go smoke a joint and walk down the street right now, and the chances are you wouldn't get caught. No doubt. Sort of no like doubt. I'll give you. I'll give you that. I can absolutely do that. I can walk down the street with an open container for a little while without getting caught. But if I were to walk around with that open container all day long and pass by multiple uh, uniformed men with guns, eventually one of those men with guns may just very well stop and threaten me with that gun. Right. I, I understand what you're saying. So there. So there's sort of you have to have a little bit of sensibility about you know when you're saying what you're saying and now. That's not to say you couldn't just go blab a mouth and, and walk down the street and get and do yourself in and kind of like make yourself more likely to get in trouble or whatever. But but we're all we're all still free regardless of whatever laws are in place. You're born free, and well, you can create you can create more freedom with your voice. And let's not let the government control us and, and take take that away from us. I it's like the viewpoint. You're co- I like where you're coming from. I mean, generally, you, you have the freedom to choose to do a lot of things. There's no doubt about that. But as long as there are men around who will throw you in a cage for doing things that don't involve harming others, I'm right now facing two years. Next year, uh, next week, I'll be sentenced uh, on two misdemeanor charges for filling out a form incorrectly with the New Hampshire government. Um, you know, I'm facing two years of my life in prison, and I didn't do anything wrong, and I didn't hurt anybody. Hard to feel free at that point. Right. So, I, I mean, I like yeah. what you're saying, but it sounds like you're saying that as a man who's never been put in a prison cell. Right. No. I think that you can get caught for things, and there are crappy laws in place that can put you in prison. Well, then I, you're I'm not, not free. That. Then you're not free. As long as there's no, a, no, gra- no. a group of you're, men you're, around who will throw you in a cage, if you haven't hurt anybody else, then you're not free. If you have to tiptoe around and sort well, of no, exercise no, no, your on, freedoms in private, then what, you're not free. What, 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 what I think you're saying, or what I think I'm interpreting what you're saying, is the, re- the, the world is in a free place. But that doesn't mean you're not free. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's this not let seems them like a strange us that dichotomy. He's saying that the state is imaginary and that um, the fact that they'll do violent things just means that there are people that'll do violent things when they're told to. But you're still free. Like, the freedom doesn't change. It's mm. the government that just claims you don't have it. It seems like a strange dichotomy, Jeff. Thank you for the call. I appreciate the uh, the perspective. I I get kind of what what he's saying. And yeah, the state's imaginary in that it's an idea. The state is a terrible idea that justifies human beings doing violence against one another. It's just a holdover uh, from the master-servant paradigm. Of- it's a bad idea. It's an idea. It's one that's fairly pervasive. Uh, it's one that I would like to see go away in the same way that, for the most part, chattel slavery has gone away as an idea. We have a different sort of slavery system now. Uh, it's more uh, transparent, I guess you could say, a little bit more obtuse, nebulous, hard to really get little a grip S on. slavery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the plantation size is a lot larger, and the taskmasters now, instead of having uh, large hats and whips, you know, they— They don't uh, make you work. If guns. you do, they just take fruits of your labor, right? Like, they know some people will, so they just, you know— Right, and if there's a bunch of men around who are going to take 33% of your uh, the, the fruits of your labor, then you're still not free. I mean, I get that you are free in the sense that you can choose to do or not do certain things. Ultimately, you choose to do certain things. But if there's another man threatening you, then I don't think you're really free. I'm sorry. I don't agree with that. And, of course, you can point out that— There's always well, going to be somebody who's trying to threaten somebody else. That the world is never going to be perfect. There's no perfect I agree, system. I agree with you there, but there's an institutionalized level right. of threats There's an acceptance now. currently in you know worldwide modern society yeah. that uh, you know a certain if if somebody flies a flag out in front of their building, that makes them in charge. 
Yeah, I get your point as well, and, and that's a good point. That okay, if the you know the institution of the state were gone, there would still be individual brigands, there would still be smaller you know maybe criminal gangs or whatever. But at least then you'd be free enough to defend yourself against them. If some thug comes up and threatens you and says, "Hand over your wallet," you know. If you hand over your wallet, the thug will probably leave you alone, but that won't stop them from coming back the next time they see you and trying to do it again. But, of course, most common criminal thugs don't keep coming back. They're usually satisfied with one, uh, you know, with getting you once and then moving on to their next target. The state just keeps on coming back, and there's no shortage of their, their men and their agents around. And you cannot fight back against them. If somebody's holding a knife uh, at you or holding some sort of weapon at you and demanding you give them your, uh, your cash, then you absolutely absolutely have the right to use defensive force against those people and you have the right to do whatever you need to to protect yourself and your family and your loved ones and nobody's going to bat an eye at that most people are going to say yeah oh you defended yourself against a criminal thug robber great you did what you should do that's the right thing to do there but if you do the same thing against a police officer you are going to end up dead even though in theory in a lot of cases, there's no real difference in what you've done. The police officer's threatening to put you in a cage and take away your freedom and possibly kill you if you don't do what they say. And the criminal thug is threatening to, uh, well, he won't, he won't put you in a cage most likely. He'll just possibly kill you uh, if you don't do what he says. So in theory, you should have the right to defend yourself against both. But in reality, defending yourself against the people calling themselves the state is a one-way ticket to, well, the end of your life. Or at the very least, the long-term caging of you for uh, you know for the rest of your life. So it's a totally different scenario. So just because if the state were to disappear tomorrow, because there's a chance some brigand might waylay you, doesn't mean you aren't free. You would be significantly more free. And then if I guess you got kidnapped at that point, you would be not so free. Eight fifty-five four fifty free is the toll-free number. Let's go to Jerry. He is listening in Indianapolis to WIBC. Hello, Jerry. How you doing? You know, I'm doing great. Go ahead with your thoughts. Well, gentlemen, I must, uh, I just want to make you aware of one thing. All right. The United States and the nation of Israel have biblical history together. Biblical? And if you- I'm pretty sure the United States <laughs> wasn't in the Bible, right? That's not going to be the claim trust here. Me. Tr- trust me, trust gentlemen. Him. No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Just, just hear me out. Yeah, go ahead. I'll That's hear you out, I, but that doesn't mean I'm going to trust you. <laughs> okay, well, you don't have to trust me, but just hear me out. The United States and Israel have biblical ties. In the Bible, God says we should pray for the peace, prosperity, and the safety of the nation of Israel, and we should support our Jewish brothers with prayer and material things. Now, this, this is what the Bible says. Supporting people with prayer is a little different from bombing people, right? Hang on. I'll bring you back, though, in a moment, uh, Jerry. Because, Mark, you've read the Bible a few times. So maybe, you, sure. maybe you've got a comment on this. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. We'll bring back Jerry. Your calls and thoughts are also welcome here on Free Talk Live. If Americans continue their reckless disregard of the U.S. Constitution, our freedoms and way of life may not continue. Original Intent, Spoiler, and Molan La Bay is a three-movie special that explains what we can do. From the director of Fiat Empire, this trio of movies features Ron Paul, Pat Buchanan, Edwin Vieira, and many others. On sale now at moviepubs.net. This is a mini library you don't want to be without. Talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's 
what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free here. We've also got Skype. Our Skype username's LRN.FM. The show, Free Talk Live, allow you to take control of the airwaves, bring up anything you want. The toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I'm giving you a free pound of coffee right now. All you have to do is go to coffee.freetalklive.com. This isn't your average coffee either. This is delicious, shade-grown, 100% organic, uh, uh, top 1% grade Arabica bean coffee. Just go to coffee.freetalklive.com. It's a subscription program. You can sign up now, and you can cancel anytime you want. You get the coffee. You don't want anything, want anything more to do with us. That's fine. I'm going to tell you why you may want to continue getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, though. It's not just the great coffee that we get from BuzzBox Coffee. It's the fact that we use a percentage of the profits to give microloans to people around the world through Kiva.org. I, we've been participating with Kiva.org for years, and uh, we're really glad to be able to sort of up our game with them through uh, BuzzBox. And what it allows us to do is to give loans to people for a variety of things, whatever it is that they need in order to make their life better. They know better than you there's always some charity out there trying to dig a well or do whatever it is they're going to do. And that's fine. But what Kiva does is it allows a microloan to be given to somebody for something that they they need in order to make their life better. It's a hand up, not a handout. And that's what I lo- love about it. And when they pay it back, and they do pay it back, when they pay it back, we're able to give that money out to somebody else and help another person. It's coffee.freetalklive.com. If you drink coffee, please go get your free pound, try it out, and just go from there, coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, so Jerry's back with us listening in Indy to WIBC. We'll continue with your calls here. Mark, you've read through the Bible. Jerry made some sort of statement about how uh, the you're United States pray is for Israel or in the Bible and that uh, you're supposed to pray for Israel, but is that the same thing as dropping bombs or supplying bombs to be dropped on people or supplying the money to buy bombs? <laughs> I mean, Jerry, what are, you, what are you saying here? What I'm saying is this. 
we can support our Jewish brethren in non-military ways. You feel what I'm saying? We don't always have to be military. Okay. But what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. If you do that, God will take care of the rest. Well, I'm happy to send uh, happy thoughts to uh, to folks around the world. It, uh, I've got no I've got no qualms about that at all. Thanks, Jerry. Um, Appreciate it. It's it's uh, when when raining down red hot lead on somebody and somebody wants my money to do that. That's my, my problem. Yeah, comes me in. too. I got a real problem supporting violence anywhere in the world. Let's go to Rick, listening also in Indianapolis, WIBC. Go ahead, Rick. Hey, uh, yeah. Look, I was going to go back to your premise that freedom is the absence of violence. Well, then we're doomed because the real leading cause of violence slash death in this world is life. Okay, you can call brigadines, politicians, wars, thieves. That's just style points. Okay, violence as opposed to pleasure are the two forces that make you learn. That's what the whole life thing is about: learning. Well, okay, I'm- so you're free to you're free to make choices. You're not free to not experience the consequences of those choices. Yeah, but it's there's a difference between sticking your hand in an ant pile and getting bit by the ants. Uh, you can tell I'm from Florida. Um, and there's, uh, you know, and getting punched in the face uh, by somebody else. I mean, like, they, there's, there's when we're talking about human behavior, interactions between humans is what we're talking about here. Um, the number one killer in the 20th century wasn't heart disease. It was a concept known as the state. The, the, the concept that it is acceptable for men to rule over other men. That's the main killer. I, have to, I, don't, I kind of find it hard to agree with that because uh, you're, if you're going to exist you, as a single individual, that's the only way you're going to find, avoid conflict with, human, with humans, okay? Or with anything in the, on the earth. I mean, whether it's Ebola, a bacteria, a virus, but an animal, a plant. I've never met Ebola. The sun. Ebola's never tried to do anything to me. Certainly, uh, life is... Oh, I, I will agree with you that obviously it. the leading cause of death is life. I'm with you on that. It's, it's deep or whatever. But there's uh, the consequences of dealing with humans is different and we currently accept the idea of the state which is you know the idea that people should be able to rule over other people um without their consent that's what we're talking about here we're we're talking about human being interactions not ebola um not bears you know just human beings fine but you're free to stay where you're at you're free to avoid the transgressors i mean you're free to make choices on how you're going to interact with this society okay yeah, I mean, that's what we're talking about is freedom. You have choices. I mean, if you're locked up, you have choices to live inside the system, live it out, escape. I mean, Mandela's an excellent example, okay? He was uh, enslaved by the system, and then he came out to run it. So freedom is simply your ability to act. It's a freedom of power to make a choice, but you can't avoid the consequences of your choices. Agreed. Like walking down the street, having a beer, you're free to do it. But you have to understand there'll be consequences. You can't well, jump off a building and avoid the consequences of gravity. Okay. okay, so cops aren't gravity. Judges aren't gravity, okay? Gravity is a force no. of nature that's been around for billions of years. A judge so is a wacko in judges. a black muumuu. Thanks, Rick, for the call tonight, man. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll free. I hate it when people try to take away the volition, the humanity from people who work in the government. It's not about consequences in the same way. I mean, gravity has no feelings, has no emotion. Gravity feels no consequences for its actions. Yeah, well, I mean, with freedom, uh, you know, if you want to have freedom, you have to allow other people to have freedom. And unfortunately, there are a number of people in this world, like you identified, the uh, the men in ro- men in robes, the men in uniforms. These people are not interested in allowing other people to have freedom. So they think it's their job to go ahead and put people in a cage for having an open container. And I'm sorry, that's not a criminal act. I don't care that someone's written a law against it in most cities in the United States. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with walking around or smoking a joint. Nobody's being put in danger uh, with those activities. And so, okay, yeah, you've got the freedom to choose to do it, uh, but ultimately the other men will put you in a cage for it. So, no, you don't really have that freedom, at least not for long, because one of them will come around eventually because some dirty snitch will probably call them on you or they'll see you on their own volition and they'll come harass you and threaten you. And if you don't hand the bottle over to them, which I don't recommend, by the way, you, know, you might encounter a rogue one, which will uh, possibly beat you and, uh, you know, hurt you physically harm you because you didn't do what they demanded you do for them.
because they believe they own you. They believe you are a subject. Listen to the radio chatter of your local police department. They use the term subject. They don't even use they don't even bother to try to cover it up with the use of the word citizen, well, which is code for subject. I do believe that they've bought, uh, you know, they've ceased to use the term subject no, in the they, way in no. the way that it is intended by a, a king and vassals and all that sort of thing. I don't care what the intention is. It means something. The the word subject yes. means something. When you're talking about the subject of a sentence, you aren't claiming that that's uh, that that word mm. is subservient to other words. Uh, subject is. I think you're just. I think you just got it all wrong. That sounds like vapid conspiracy theory to me. But there's one thing's for certain that if you're going to run a human tax farm that you're going to need somebody to tend the tax animals. And that's what l- law enforcement officers and, and you know the king's men have always been. They're just they're just the, the, the farm hands on the, the tax farm. We'll continue here. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN. 855-450-3733. Take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. There's more coming up on this live Saturday edition. And don't forget, we've got Skype as well. And you'll sound great if you're on Skype, by the way. Skype usernames, lrn.fm. Call us up. You know it's coming. The signs that you're starting to age. The wrinkles that weren't there before. Those sudden lines. But what if you could hold back those signs for years to come? That can happen with a proprietary new anti-aging complex that reinvents looking younger. It's like a delete button for your wrinkles. Our philosophy is simple. No wrinkles allowed. Call 1-844-500-0815. That's 1-844-500-0815. Or go to NoWrinklesAllowed.com. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Ovaltine. Give your kids the nutrition they need to be their best. Visit us at OvaltineUSA.com. Telling your child about healthy food choices is important, but showing her what to eat goes a lot further. Have her help create the grocery list, then bring her to the store with you. Picking out healthy foods together helps kids get in the habit of thinking about what they're eating every day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. An alarming new study finds that people suffering from stress-related disorders react poorly to being trapped in underwater elevators. A tired 398-month-old throws a tantrum, and a little clay thing is purchased at an arts festival. And now an eerily perfect recap of this week's news. The Catholic Church reversed its long-held stance against gay marriage this week, 
after meeting Connecticut couple Tony and Craig. The vacationing pair dazzled the Pope and assorted clergy with their witty conversation and true loving affection for each other, leading Vatican officials to conclude that love is love and it's silly to put restrictions on it in this day and age. The Chinese people announced that they would be willing to forgive most of the United States' $1.16 trillion debt if Americans agreed to dress up in costumes and perform silly dances for them. Chinese officials encouraged U.S. citizens to wear sequined vests and prance around while slapping their big fat American tummies, promising that the more humiliating the performance, the more debt will be erased. In sports, NASCAR fans are deeply puzzled by a mysterious black family seen attending multiple races. This is the Onion News Network. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free here. The number is 855-450-FREE, and that number is brought to you by ProXPN. Uh, that again, 855-450-3733. You can join us via Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Hey, you know what? On Free Talk Live, we really like alternative currencies. The federal government, uh, whether it's the U.S. federal government or any government around the world, they usually print their own money. Some of them don't, but a lot of them have central banks, and they're just printing money out of thin air and adding it into the economy, and that doesn't help you and I. It only helps their buddies in the uh, military-industrial complex and the other industrial complexes out there that are connected with the state. So how do you protect yourself against this constant pressure of more dollars flowing in and chasing around the same amount of goods. That's what inflation is, where there's more uh, money in circulation. And that, of course, usually results in prices rising. It's one of the effects of inflating the money supply. How do you protect yourself from that? Well, historically, gold and silver have been excellent stores of value and protection, sort of hedge, uh, hedges against inflation of the money supply. And you can go and get gold and silver in whatever quantities you prefer from our friends over at Midas Resources at gold.freetalklive.com. They have been doing this gold and silver sales thing for longer than we've been on the radio, for a long time, and they're really great at it. In fact, Midas owns the company that puts us on uh, the 160-plus radio stations that we're on. So every time you buy from gold.freetalklive.com, not only do you get a great deal on uh, uh, beautiful gold and silver pieces, but you'll also help Free Talk Live out at the same time. So really, you got nothing to lose there. Gold.freetalklive.com. You can also go to silver.freetalklive.com. It'll all take you to the same place. Let's go to James in Delaware. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing, man? I agree with you totally on... What the hell are we doing dropping bombs in a war we know we can't win? It's well, each waste. bomb uh, is uh, I, you know very expensive, and so therefore that would um, increase the bottom line of the companies that manufacture the bombs. Run, man. Anyway, listen, um, I think fear or scare tactics are, are terrorism American style. They constantly use fear on their people, us. And another thing, here's what happened to me. That I should, I, I I was sitting there in my home, mind my own business about eleven o'clock, July seventeenth, twenty thirteen. I get a knock at the door. I go out there. It was the county police were lined up like in formation. You're lucky they knocked. One, <laughs> yeah, firing one. A psychobabble question at me before I get to figure out what the first question. Here comes another one. So they take me away down the street to an ambulance. My brother's coming home from the store. He comes in. Naturally, he's going to let him in. They take me away, put me in a local uh, medical center, and come in and photograph my house. Oh no! So what was this I, about? What was I, what were the allegations? You know what it is. I, I was in trouble, you know, the county code for not putting my keep my grass short enough. So I call them up, said, "Hey, I did what you want. Come look at it." That's how they. Re, that's how they come look at it. They take me out of my house to come in, and now they're going to take pictures of the inside of my house. So I get out. I, I was in the hospital for three days. The third day, I said, "What did they got me on?" He says, "Found in the alleyway." unresponsive i said my father was a cop if i told him that that means a drunk that's 
so drunk that you tap him with the nightstick and he doesn't wake up. So let me see if I've got this clear, because this is a pretty amazing story. And I mean, I mean, we've heard a lot of just crazy stuff here on Free Talk Live. You're saying your grass was too tall, so they sent the sheriffs after you, and they kidnapped you and put you in a mental health facility for three uh, three days? No, no, no. I, I had it all cut and everything. I called them up to come and see. I did. I, I'm up to code. And this is, this is how they come. You don't think there was anything else going on here? I mean, really? They sent a, a, a bunch of officers after you to kidnap you over your grass? No, no, no. There's not something you're forgetting to tell us about here? No, there's nothing. I got nothing to hide. I ain't, I ain't making uh, methamphetamine in my tub or nothing. They come in and take pictures of how I'm living. So what and happened ultimately? You, did you get out after three days? What? What? How did you get out of their clutches? Well... I told him, is that what they got me on? I am walking out of here right now. They give me a big list of medicine, and the doctor provokes me in front of all these, like, attendants, because if I punch them in the mouth, they get to keep me, lock mm-hmm. me up. This, I'm ready to punch them in the mouth the way he provoked me. I looked around at all his cronies. I said, uh-huh, I see what you're up to. I calmed down, and I walked out of there. And guess what? It ain't over. They did it again this year on September 12th. A woman's outside my door with a camera. She's from the county code. And she says, if you don't let me in, I'm getting a court order to come in and take pictures. Now, what does she want to go inside your house if you've got grass outside? What is her justification there? Is she claiming you're, you know, you've got like a house full of junk? Are you a pack rat? I mean, what's their justification? They don't give no justification. They take pictures and send me fine. Unbelievable. James, you know, here's what I'd recommend. Next time that happens, grab a video camera, record everything. Thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Do you believe that one, Mark? Um, Well, as many things as I believe are true, um, I I don't know is really the answer. I'm not prepared to say, no, it didn't happen. But I also wonder exactly how it went. I mean, did James give him a call and said, yeah, I cut my grass. Now, if you give me any trouble like this again, I'll shoot you or whatever. Mm. I don't know the answer. Like, is there more to the story? I don't know. But I don't know either. I mean, we certainly have seen stories where people have been threatened by the police over having their grass growing too oh, sure. tall. Uh, so that's not a surprise there. But to have them come with, uh, you know, several officers who are going to kidnap you after you've allegedly cut the grass to specification seems a little unusual. But that, you know, maybe it did happen. We never know. We'll take your word for it here on Free Talk Live because we can't prove it. But it's certainly true that people have been threatened. There there was like a classic story from, I don't know if it was Utah or wherever, but some old lady, some grandma got threatened uh, by the code enforcement department over having grass too tall. And, of course, people are constantly facing threats by code enforcement over all kinds of piddly nonsense that has nothing to do with anybody actually being victimized. Just some neighbor gets upset because they feel like their property values are going to be affected by the fact that you have a flamingo out in your front lawn or that, you know, you just have a we waited a few too many weeks before cutting the grass. I just think it's ridiculous. I think you should be able to do what you want with your property as long as you aren't harming somebody else. Well, um, you know, the, the many, many civic activists over time have decided that they want to turn municipalities into giant um, homeowner associations. We have, uh, let's see, via Skype, Tony, Tattoo Tony is on the line with us. You're on Free Talk Live. How long, Ian? Hey, can just barely hear you. Go ahead. How long, Ian? How long what? How long you been one of them there reptiles? I'm looking at you on the camera. <laughs> I can see your eyes. Yeah, you they, seeing the uh, the internal reptile eyelids closing? Is they, they, that's what they them things see. they look like they look like cat eyes to me. You ever how seen, long they had you turned, boy? <laughs> you know, that's like asking uh, somebody when did you stop beating your wife, right? Don, I ain't done that in then there two weeks. I don't know. She, she ain't. Get back in there. Thanks for I, the call tonight, Tattoo Tony. I appreciate <laughs> it. 
Toll free number is 855 450 free. You know, unfortunately, well, some people this actually is a believe reference. That. This is a reference to the conspiracy idea, theory. the conspiracy theory that uh, you know certain people, certain powerful people in in the United States and around the world are in fact reptile alien shapeshifters. Um, I mean, I don't even. That explains everything. I don't know where to go with this. Uh, I mean, are they? Yeah. When I have no um, idea. Yeah. <laughs> at what point? At what point is the story so absolutely outlandishly crazy that I can just dismiss it out of hand? Eight fifty-five, four fifty free. I don't know if Tattoo Tony really believes that, but there are people out there who really do. Eight five five, four five zero, three seven three three. You can take control of the airwaves. This is Free Talk Live. We're here on the live Saturday edition. There's just enough time for you with your thoughts. Dial in now. Our Skype username, by the way, is also lrn.fm. More coming up. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Beautiful. Bellawood flooring just got even better with twice the scratch resistance and four times the abrasion resistance of other brands. And right now, Lumber Liquidators has exclusive deals on Bellawood with savings up to 40%. Choose from over 140 varieties, including Brazilian cherry, American walnut, even Bellawood's hot new matte finish that gives you that oil finished look without all the maintenance. All with a transferable 100-year warranty. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest to you. First ever 36-month financing is available. But hurry, these amazing deals end Tuesday. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. 
Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain here on this live Saturday edition, but there's still plenty of time for you to call in about whatever happens to be on your mind. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number brought to you by ProXPN. That's 855-450-3733. Keenvention is coming up in just about mm, 20 days. October 31st is the first day, and November 2nd is the last. It'll be Keenvention, the second annual. Your excuse to come up and check out New Hampshire in the fall. Now, it'll be just past peak uh, as far as the, the leaf peeping goes, so that's not the reason to come to Keenvention. There won't be very many leaves left, um, which is why the hotel rates are so cheap for Keenvention. You can get a hotel room there for less than 80 bucks a night, and Keenvention itself is only $60 for the entire weekend. It's a, it's a convention. It's a kind of an intimate convention that happens here in our very own little Keene, New Hampshire. If you've heard about the Free State Project, then you might be intrigued enough to come check things out on the ground. The Free State Project is the idea of moving 20,000 liberty-oriented people, people who understand what freedom means, people who know that uh, despite your freedom to choose, that you don't really have true freedom in this world and certainly not in this country and that we'd like to have more of it we'd like you know for you to be free to live your life how you want so long as you don't hurt anybody else the free state project wants to have a government uh people who agree that the government's maximum role should be the protection of life liberty and property and there are over sixteen thousand people who have now pledged as part of the free state project they have signed the statement of intent and they are what's called Free State Project participants. Many of them have already moved. Mark and myself were early movers. We came back in 2006. People have been coming ever since 2003 uh, here to New Hampshire and getting active. People who love freedom, which is awesome. It's great to be around people who actually care about freedom. And that's what Keenvention is all about. It's about focusing on the people who've already moved, the people who are here, and also some New Hampshire, New Hampshire natives as well. The liberty-loving activist community here in New Hampshire is amazing and so busy. There's so much going on. Keenvention focuses on a lot of it. We've got uh, discussions about you know how to be effective in the state legislature, whether you've been elected or not. Uh, that's going to be happening. There's a brand new cop block panel uh, this year. We've got the new movers panel this year and several other panels that have been announced uh, the bitcoin panel the technology panel just announced some of these full panels so the the actual full lists of panelists are being posted as we speak over at keenvention.info great keynote speakers are lined up including the president of the free state project carla garrick rich paul who's expected to get out of his jail cell next week so he'll be out in time for keenvention and also James Robin Hood Cleveland. You've heard about Robin Hooding? Maybe you haven't heard about Robin Hooding. It's where you feed meters of uh, expired parking meters before the parking enforcers reach said meter. Turns out that stirred up a lot of controversy. So James will be speaking at Keenvention this year. So it's all coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now over at Keenvention.info. Again, you can do it for $60 or Bitcoin equivalent over at Keenvention.info. Look forward to seeing you there. As we continue with your calls and thoughts, uh, Ruben is listening in Myrtle Beach to WRNN. Hey, Ruben. Oh, you can't listen on the radio. Otherwise, it'll sound, it'll be a crazy echo that'll happen, and he just disconnected. So, Ruben, you're welcome to try calling back. Uh, Joe, you're in South Carolina, and you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Joe. Hey, man. Hey. I appreciate you taking the call. Go ahead, sir. My question was, if you went right on up, and I might be phrasing this wrong, right on up the food chain to the top of the, the people that are trying to take our freedom the most, where do you think it goes eventually to? You know, like the, the one or two or three or four or five, ten people that are up at the top really sort of directing things. Are you asking specifically if I know the names of those people? I'm not real sure what you're asking me for. Not not necessarily the name, just where where... Well, see, I have my opinion, but I was just wondering where you want to hear my opinion. Yeah, and you please. Can say yay or nay. Yeah, because okay. I don't really have an opinion about that. As far as I'm concerned, there's just a you know, bunch of people who want if, to control you. If there you. are 10 people that want to take your freedom, I don't suspect anybody knows the names. But go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, I think they actually might. But anyhow, uh, you've heard, you know, the, the Rothschild, you know, all the money up at the very top. But I've heard. I've heard the claims. I mean, they're never on any of the lists of richest people. Okay, but what I've heard just studying the internet, me and my son, is that it all goes ends up at the top of the Roman Catholic Church. 
I've heard people make that claim too. Some people will say, in fact, it's the the still the the Queen of England the and the yeah. English uh, monarchy. I I don't know. Are they in competition? Is there? You think there's some kind of like cha- Chinese Ming Dynasty uh, conspiracy theory out there that's in competition with them too? I suspect I have no that, clue. Uh, that there are groups of elites who are in competition for control and power. I think that's probably true. But you know, uh, this is really well, just a conspiracy theory, right? I mean, there's no evidence for it. Well, I I guess that's true, but um, it just seems like it all falls under the Roman Catholic Church. But, what but is your right, biggest What is your biggest claim on what's that? What's your I biggest mean, piece of evidence? Yeah, what do you got? Just well, the fact that they've got a bunch of money, the Pope's wealthy. Yeah, that, yeah. If you follow the trail of money, it, they're the most powerful organization in the world, I believe. Well, they, I, I've heard that they're the largest landowners, but I'd say the, lar- the most powerful organization in the world is the United States military. When you can put out, uh, right. you know, 12 uh, aircraft carriers uh, to take care of your problems, you're, I mean, I think the Vatican could be leveled yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, if they quick. want to smash Vatican City, that wouldn't be too hard. Joe, thanks for your call tonight. I mean, it's all speculation. And really, does it matter? Does it really matter who is in charge of the world and who's pulling the strings at the top? Because... You know, there's all kinds of theories out there. The Bilderbergers is one of the more popular ones. This is a group of elites that meets in a. They originally were meeting at the Bilderberg Hotel. I think it was was that Germany, Denmark. I don't know, Europe. somewhere in Europe. And uh, you know, these different elites from the U.S. federal government and governments around the world and big corporations and whatever. And of course, the meeting's very secret. And they have these meetings every year. And then, of course, you know, there's Bohemian Grove. And you know, there's all these places where the elites go and to do their hanging out or plotting or whatever the hell it is that they do and i don't doubt that they want to control people they understand that they can control people they have the mechanisms in place to do so but i find the obsession with with having to know it all is a I think it's a deleterious effect. Right. On if you're spending your time researching, you're not spending time doing something to actually make people more free. Um, yes. I don't know how to – like, you can make yourself more free, get a sailboat, eat, eat by fishing, right? Mm. Uh, just go live out in the middle of the ocean. You can be free there. But if you're going to sort of work to make society more free, you need to get off the computer – stop doing the research, and do something else. Now, what I decided to do was move for the Free State Project at freestateproject.org, getting together a bunch of people who believe in the ideas of human freedom into one specific state where they can concentrate their efforts. They don't all have to do the same thing at the same time. They're certainly not going to. The evidence is that they will not. But just giving them the opportunity to get together and that synergy occurring, that's a good thing, as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, I mean... If it's your thing to research on the internet, you're going to obsess about who shot JFK for decade upon decade upon decade. It's a way to spend a life, I suppose. Let's continue. Ruben is back, trying a second time here to see if we can get him on. Ruben, are you with us? Yes. All right, we can hear you now. Go ahead, sir. Uh, well, it's not, like, it's not like a story or nothing, but like, um, say, what do y'all think about the theory or whatever you think is a theory? About the 9/11, how oh, a cover up by the government. Okay, so it's apparently what conspiracy theory opinion night here. Uh, I don't really have an opinion about what the truth is behind 9/11. And uh, Ruben, thanks for the call tonight. I, I have no opinion about that. I uh, I don't know if the go- I certainly don't think the government's telling the truth. I mean that much I'll give you. I don't think they have any incentive to tell the truth ever. Uh, so I don't believe a word they say. But I also don't think that the conspiracy theorists are necessarily on the right track either. And I don't really uh, have any interest in finding out what the truth is about 9-11. And the reason why is because it doesn't matter. What matters to me is what has happened. What is happening now? What matters is that after 9-11, the government used that as an excuse to become larger, more oppressive, more intrusive, more expensive... Uh, than it ever has been, and at a greater clip, it seems, that they've increased their oppression at a much faster clip than, let's say, they did in the 1990s. That's just the way it seems. I think that there's evidence for it with the Patriot Act and, you know, the Department of Homeland Security and and all of that. So, to me, it doesn't matter what the story is. What matters are the results and what's happening today. And what we have today is essentially a police state. That's a concern for me. I don't know what the specifics are of the 9-11 story, but I generally sort of agree with the 
uh, the, the the regular narrative, the idea that uh, you know a certain number of uh, Middle Easterners with box cutters hijacked planes. And the reason I believe in that believe that is because I think you absolutely could have hijacked a plane with a box cutter back in 2001 because Americans at that point they were used to the idea of the idea of hijacking, you know, hey, you spend the afternoon on some uh, the tarmac in, in Havana, no big deal. I think that the the, the whole 9/11 conspiracy theory thing, it really sounds bigoted to me towards Middle Easterners because here in the United States, if there were a bunch of people that uh, that were ruling over this country, a foreign power, you can believe people in the United States would stand up and fight. And the suggest, and since you believe that people in the Middle East won't do it, it makes you sound like a bigot. Out of time for tonight. But don't worry, we do this show seven nights a week. What's that? You don't get it seven nights a week on your local radio station? Well, you can always get it over at freetalklive.com. And uh, Mark will be here for the live Sunday show tomorrow night. We'll see you online in the meantime, freetalklive.com. Have a great weekend. Do you tr- a congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. The latest episode of Off the Air Live is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, October 11th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.41 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,224 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $359. Antiwar.com reports Kurdish protesters pushing for a military intervention against the Islamic State in the Syrian border town of Kobani have continued across Turkey's southeast with the Interior Ministry issuing a statement reporting at least 31 killed and 360 wounded. Interior Minister Efkan Ala, who previously accused the Kurds of betraying Turkey for protesting, urged the demonstrators to end the violence and stand in solidarity with the ruling party. Protests took place in at least 30